Why do I? Don't look back, we're here to stay A life we knew would come one day And this is it, the borderline To where the future leaves us behind Fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life And so just find me, just find me Sparks will fly if we scream Don't look back, we're here to stay A life we knew would come one day And this is it, the borderline To where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn and never die Looking through the eyes of a brand new life And so just find me If we scream no, this is not how we're gonna go. We are the ones who will never let go. Just watch us roll to a no one knows. We'll never
What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Optic Line. It is day numero three here at the Optic Line. You can see on your screen, Optic on the left-hand side, and Strictly Business, the US champions, on your right-hand side. And the guys just getting ready to play some some video games, some Call of Duty. I think they're probably going to do a series. We saw some series yesterday. And it's very, very close. Uh, some really good games. But guys, if you have any questions, feel free to tweet them. Tweet them at us. Uh, myself at Benson underscore you answer any questions about the house a couple of you guys may have seen some of the tweets earlier on where the FIFA 14 championship was going on in the optic optic house and <clears throat> yours truly is the champion so you know I do what I can I do what I can Clay they're probably the best optic player at FIFA 14 for any of you that are wondering but guys if you haven't done already tweet out the stream and we'll try and get everybody up in here just waiting for them to start up the game. I th think they're gonna do a respawn game. One time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shout across at Scum and see what he said. All right. So basically, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see a best of seven. It's gonna be all of the respawn game types, as you said, we can see all seven respawn maps, kind of like the second series that we saw yesterday. So it's going to be pretty intense. We saw so many close games yesterday. I mean, Blitz within one point, saw a couple of games of Domination go within one point as well. So these two very, very evenly matched when it comes to, to respawn game types. So hopefully we'll have some more good games today. Uh, let me see if anyone has tweeted me any questions. Um, Nothing as of yet. Lots of tweets though, which is good. Which is good. Um, anything at all? Oh, someone asked, "What is the jersey that I was wearing?" Oh, that was on the chair behind me. That's actually a uh, big timer's jersey from a very long time ago. Speaking of big timer, desperately trying to get him out onto the onto the stream. He's actually at the gym right now with Flame Sword. So those two gymming it out whilst these guys are playing. And guys, just waiting for the game to get underway again. They still haven't started it, but any other questions? Who won last night out of the 11 games? It was a very close series uh, throughout all the games. Very, very close indeed. Uh, it was, I think it ended pretty much even. I kind of lost track <laughs> as we got towards the end. But um, anything? I, what have you enjoyed while being at the Optic House? Absolutely everything. Um, the guys made me feel really at home. Every Everyone from Optic, including Hex, Big T. Uh, flame sword as well they've been really helpful really good um i think yep the guys are just starting the game now actually so that's good do you get paid to cast uh, it's my full-time job so yes yes i do how's it smell there it smells really good um bah, bah, bah. play fifa on stream maybe later where's your face cam it's going to be on when i switch the scene what's your hotel like the hotel is pretty nice um, it's actually really quite nice to be fair. The food there is really good. How good is the Ginger Ninja? He's pretty good. He's average, you know, Scum's, Scum's decent. Uh, what is the point in just playing Respawn? S&Ds win championships, that's true, but neither team want to give away any S&D strats they have for the championship at the end of the week, so... Fair enough. Uh, where do you get lights that are hanging on the back? They're just for aesthetically <coughs> sort of proving and pleasing, I should say. Um, Facts, what's a player we should all watch out for at Champs? That's a great question. Um, Madcap from Europe is definitely going to be one player you're going to watch out for. I also think Replays from FaZe is going to be a good one. Scump from Optic. I'd say Apathy from SB. Um, th there's so many top players from really, so I think everyone is going to have a very, very good game. Or a very, very good event, I should say. Um, loads of questions now. That's what I'd like to see. What is the Optic House like? Absolutely amazing. Will you be flying out with Optic? I'm not too sure, actually. I need to check what time they're flying out. Whereabouts in the UK am I from? I'm from Manchester. Um, what football team do I support? I support Manchester United. How bad does jet lag affect you and or COD player? Um, I'm kind of used to it now because I've been traveling for quite a while. But it definitely does have an effect on on players, I would say, at a certain time. And hey, guys, you can see me now. Woohoo! I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost again. Why is there a... I'm trying to... Oh, 
Let me just slide. Slide that out of the way for the game. As you can see, <clears throat> I need to actually get rid of the text because we're going to start fresh. It's going to be 0 0. And as the game is about to get underway, Scump played fantastically last night and pretty much all through the day. So I'm definitely going to stay on board with him. And for everyone asking about a listening, can we get a listening done? I don't think Hex is going to be able to set that up in time, um, which is unfortunate. But I think the one the guys do it again, they're definitely going to look at doing because. Team, communi team communication is something which is so important for you guys to listen to. Glace is already screaming. Nature started off with a big two-piece. That's always a, a good way to start your game and to start the day off. Scum, meanwhile, he's at that B-flag, has the support of Nature and also Embos. They've grabbed it, but the problem they have is SB already rotating towards that A-flag. Apathy, actually, who's going to be capping it. And you can see Scump immediately push the C-flag. So, so far, nothing crazy apart from that one spawn there. That was Sensor, actually spawning in between every one of Optic. He's picked up one. Teammate Saints picked up the second. They're going to have to kill that C flag now. Can anyone from Optic try and stop it? It's going to be one player. It's Clay that He goes down, though. Scump, he's dead as well. So, that's how. In fact, no, sorry. Scump off respawn, I should say. He's down this time, though. Nate shot the only player with three kills for Optic so far. Let's have a look, see what Nate shot can do. Dido shut down Clayster. And this is the problem. When you get yourself spawn trapped in like this, but Bose, he's over at that A flag. <coughs> he's been trying to make some moves. Is he going to be able to cap it? Oh, wow. Bose on that mini map. So nicely done. Clayster, meanwhile, he's just roaming around, making sure that no one's at that B flag. He's going to have big problems. There's a couple of players running straight towards there. Dido's already taken him out. Is there anybody else from Optic? It's only Nature. I don't think he's going to be able to pick up that kill. He goes down, and you can see within the first, what, minute and a half of the gameplay, it's still at a one point game. It's very close. Everybody rotating around very, very quickly, and, and, and that's the key to really domination strikes, and it's just that rotating. Kappa flag, rotate. Kappa flag, rotate. And SB now starting to build themselves a little bit of a lead in this first side. They've held this 2 to 1 flag for a while, but Optic, they're going to try and jump on that A flag. It's, in fact, sorry, I lie. Apathy is going to jump on that A flag. Is he going to be able to get it? This could be the, the trip cap here. He's gone down. Optic are going to be able to recover it, but Candido... Try and pick up the kill. That is the big question. He's making his way across. I think he's going to pick up a couple here. There's one. That was Clay. Can he find the second? Yes, he can. That was Nature. The third behind. Dino just destroyed Bows for the three-piece. Fantastic stuff coming from him. Is he going to be able to secure the A-flag? There's the fourth in the form of Clayster. Dino unstoppable right now. Ten and three. Finally, Bows comes in, cleans up with the two-piece. Let's have a look at Bows' perspective as he's getting six and six right now. And SB really starting to pull it away. 28 to 43. Lots of flags being currently contested. Bose making his way towards that B flag. Someone has actually just spawned there. They're going to know he's there now. He looks towards the front. He needs to look towards his left hand side. There he is going to get charged. He does go down. Clay left last up for a couple of seconds. Looks in towards B. Dom shuts down center as well. And he is actually going to be able to cap that if he so chooses. Just jumping straight on it. So nice stuff from him. As we go into the last two minutes of the first side. Nothing really standing out on the scoreboard except really Dido and Saints. 11 and 6, 14 and 6. Those two guys having a sensational start. Optic once again just with that one flag. It's B. They need to be careful. They don't actually get spawn trapped in there. Bose needs to pick up that kill. Doesn't do so though. It's going to fall down to Scumpy. Needs to try and make some plays. Someone up top, Catwalk. He is going to get taken down. That was Dido again. Dido really having a good series, but all players for SB do go down. Now, Optic should be able to recover, cap that C flag, put a little bit of pressure now on SB. Bose just looking to see if anyone's going to overextend from A towards that C side. Doesn't look like anybody did, though. I think the majority of pressure is going to come in on that B flag. Bose knows it now, tries to rotate inside. Go down. Bose turned! Oh, Apathy just got turned on. Nicely done for Bose. He dodges the second player inside, and this is a good comeback. They're trying to just reduce that deficit. Bose jumps around the corner, wasn't able to pick that one up. In fact, somehow, I have. What? No idea how he just killed Dido there, but somehow did. Three plays go down. Now Scump all by himself needs to rotate back down towards that C flag. Pressure coming on it from SB. Two plays diving on it, and SB looking to end the last minute of gameplay with a two to one flag advantage. But actually, someone from Optic doing the smart thing. It's Clay. He's jumped on that A flag. Has it neutral? That's good for Optic for now, at least as Bose defending the B flag. Does it very well. Still, you got Scump over at A. He's trying to jump on it. Halfway there, one player's going to be challenging, small work of him. The flag now under optic control in the last 30 seconds. All they want to do at this point is just reduce that deficit to 17 points right now. They just want to try and get it down, something a little bit more contestable for that second side. Scump gets the knife on Ampathy on the B flag. 
He's gonna hold that out now as he pushes down towards that C flag. Another kill for Skump. 11 and 13. But as I said, Dido, the real story from this game. 17 and 10 up there with Saints. 17 and 11. Those two slaying animals. As it's gonna be a 12 point advantage, I believe, in favor of SB going into the second side. So, really. Really good show from SB. And I need to turn that light I feel I really do feel like cast with a friendly ghost right now. It is it is so white. Like I'm all I'm all like I am like a go plus the black background. Yeah. Long story, long story, but let's have a look at the plays. I completely forgot what score I said that was. I think that was eleven or twelve, one of the two. But I'm sure the guys in the chat will remind me. But a very good first game to kick things off, SB. Looking pretty strong, I think it's fair to say. So I'm going to go back to looking and reading any questions you guys have on Twitter. Whilst the guys try and set up the next side. Who do I think is going to win champs? Um, I don't know. I think it depends on the bracket. So ask me that after the after day one. Uh, what do I do with LV? So um, it isn't strictly just LV. It's it's curse. I just do some, some work with those guys. Um, what was the point in play? Oh, I already answered that one. Can you tell Nature I said hi? Uh, Nature, Fernando Lamelli said hello. He said hi. What do you think about rumors of COD being PS4 based instead of Xbox? Um, I'm not too sure about that. Interesting to see if that actually comes through. Can you ask Hex to make another shot cam? He's been walking around precariously with his with his uh, phone out. So yeah, plus twelve. All right, thanks, dudes. Um. Bam. Okay. Um, we're about to UK. I'm from Manchester. Say hi, Canal, please. Or Conal. Canal Brian. Hello. Are you guys going to stream any sports games? Probably. How bad does jet lag? Not that bad. What's the schedule like for champs? It's actually looking really good. I'm really excited for, for Call of Duty Championships. It's going to be amazing at the end of this week. Um, can I do a listen in? Already addressed that. Can't do that. Um, how is my foot? Uh, really painful, actually. Thank you, um, Zoe YT or, or Zoe T. I'm not sure how to really pronounce that, so apologies. But yeah, um, it is it is pretty painful still, but it's all good. Hex has been looking after me, taking care of me, you know, giving me some painkillers, so I feel a little bit better about life. But for now, I really need to sneeze, actually. So, that's always good to kick things off on the second side, needing to sneeze. I want to have a look at Dido's perspective. As Dido pushing it towards B. Woo! Bow shuts him down. Someone asks, what is the intensity? It's pretty intense. I can, I can tell you that right now. Apathy with a big two-piece they pushing in towards that B flag. He should be able to actually cap that unless this one player in the form of Clayster trying to make some plays. Oh! Clayster with the accuracy of a god. Peeks around the corner, kills Apathy. Still two plays from SB there, but the nice rotation coming from Optic on that A flag. It was actually one of Clay's teammates down there. Excuse me. Still needs to sneeze though. That's never good. Three plays for SB go down. Saints left, last up. Looks towards the right hand side. There's one. There's two. Nicely cleaned up from him. Third play for Optic. Gonna be up top. He looks there. He picks it up. Saints. Continuing where he left off, it seems. Dido having a bit of a rough start, though. Oh, and four for him. Saints three and two. Apathy five and two. And honestly, God, Apathy has been just really, really amazing. This whole optic land had a, a really, really good. I, I want to say mini event. Same with with Scumpy and, and Nature. Really, those two really standing out. Bows picking, picking up some fantastic plays. In fact, to be honest, all eight plays have really played very, very well. A couple of shady games here and there, but that's to be expected. As Saints jumps around the corner, picks up Clayster. They are pretty annoyed about that as well. I'm hearing from here is Saints needs to be careful, doesn't want to kill Sensor. Sensor already took down Scump. There's a minute and a half gone. Still pretty much a tied game. It was a 12 point lead in favor of SB. Well, SB needs to just try and control a couple of flags. The Saints continuing on his rampage, currently on a six point streak. He's jumped on the C flag as well. Gonna get it. So Optic pushed back to just the A flag. Let's see if they can try and break out. Scump's gone down. What can place to do is he's pushing towards that B flag. Gonna be two players there. One, he goes down. Nicely done. Second to the left hand side. Clay goes for the pre fight. Can he pick up the kill? Gets the hit marker. Not gonna happen though. Saints managed to kill Bose. And Clayster needs some support. 
from a teammate. Scump came in. He picked up two. Scum nearly found the third piece, but Apathy just too strong. Embos, he needs to push into that B flag again, but the problem is there's going to be the reinforcements coming from Strictly Business. That B flag is going to be saved for a couple of seconds. Scump being patient, being very sneaky, waiting for his teammates to come in. One player pushing from Kitchen. Scump needs to go big here. Not going to happen. Dido cleans up two. Down to Bose. Having a bit of a slow game. Oh, swing and a miss. He isn't going to hit that knife as SB really starting to pull away now on this domination. It's going to be around about a 22 or 23 point lead when you tally both the first and second sides together. So Optic need to really step up now in the last couple of minutes. Place that on that C flag. He's anticipating place to be around there. Nice pickup from Scump. Nice play from Bose as well to shut down Center and Apathy. And Clay, to his credit, has managed to capture that home flag. Now, can they try and spawn trap SB? Only one play for SB alive. That's going to be Sensor. Optic trying to just keep them in that B flag. And Clayster here needs to go big. You can see that setup. I'm going to go full screen. You can see the way that Optic are keeping SB pinned into that B flag. Four players go down pretty much. Pressure is coming out on that A side. Someone from Optic is going to need to rotate around. It's going to be this man. It's going to be the Ginger Ninja. Optic Scumpy sees one on A flag. Can't clean up, though as SB are going to be able to recover that A flag. It was a good effort, but Optic with a nice rotation back towards B. Nature picks up the kill on Apathy. He's also going to grab the flag as well for his hard work and efforts, but there's going to be a couple of SB players pushing in. One in the form of State. He goes down. Kitchen cleaned up by Scump as well with a knife on Dido. So Optic doing everything they can, but once again, the rotation coming in from SB. But it's, rather than pushing B, they decided to push the open flag in the form of C. They've grabbed it, and they still have that 2-1 flag advantage, but Nadeshot using his COD smarts, recognizing what was going on, just rotated straight back down towards the A flag, and they are trying to keep Optic in this game. They need to push for that trip cap there, and I think Nadeshot realizes, which is why he's pretty much running straight towards the C flag without a stopping at all. Sees Apathy, cleans him up. Big gunfights going in on the B flag. That's going to be Scumpy, I believe. Scump's done well. He's cleaned up two people. Nate shot. Oh, if he'd have made that kill, that really would have put the boys in green in a fantastic position. Scump coming down with 24 seconds left. Optic, they are not going to be able to do it. A fantastic first game, though. Really, really very, very good game from both these teams. A good first game of the day, I think it's fair to say. Got another six to show in quick succession. And then after that... We will be showing maybe some more games. More games played well. These games are good, right? More games. Game one, game one, game one. I just realized that didn't work. Why did that not work? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. But guys, whilst I find out what the next game is, I'm gonna run a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with you. Excuse me, I'm looking for your lowest priced unlimited plan. Walmart Family Mobile is only $39.88 a month. With unlimited talk, text, and web. Oh, wow, great deal. Mm -hmm. I just gotta figure out which one of these phones I want. Well, this one says I'm all over what's trending, and this one says I'm so advanced, I'm like actually from the future. And they both say, I'm Mr. Savings. Great. Glad I could help. Get Walmart Family Mobile, our lowest priced unlimited plans, and pick up the Concord smartphone on rollback today for just $49.88. Walmart.
What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Optic Land SB versus Optic. It's game number two. Optic took the first game. Oh sorry, SB rather took the first game. It was uh, pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. It really was. Um, now it's gone over to Bullet on Octane and I uh, can assure you both these guys are very, very loud. Both these two teams, eight guys over just a couple of units away from me and they are making serious noise as Scumpy Continuing his rampage from yesterday, 4-0, SB gonna score first, but good rebuttal there from Scump. Still yet to die, so we're gonna stay on Scumpy camp. But now as he tracks back, actually to try and do some defensive work. Luckily though, we do have someone, it's actually gonna be Nateshot, bang, 2-1. Also two more players there. Nateshot needs to just do the defensive work, they've jumped around the corner, oh, Saint. Managed to run in just in time, Clay set. he's in a very forward position. And this is something which actually uh, me and Clay were talking about last night. He was very, very curious to know, from from my perspective, just watching them, is there anything that, personally, he thinks that I should, or, how do I phrase this? There was, he asked me, basically, last night, if there's anything that I saw that maybe they could do, maybe a little bit different. Uh, well, I've been watching them for two days straight now, playing online, and I, I did make the point that on Blitz, sometimes play is very, very passive, that, that kind of just sit on the back of the, the Blitz ball. He was saying, hey, against a team like you, that's something that's going to work. Like, what should we try out? And I said, well, you have another day left of land practice. It may help to just try, try slay in their base. It looks like early on, that's exactly what he was trying to do. I know last time he was trying to do a similar thing. You can see just the aggression now coming out from Optic. <clears throat> Clay, just trying to hold that mid-map as opposed to his own base. This is probably a, a more advantageous position for them, but SB have snuck another two caps past. And that <clears throat> just shows that the defensive side without Clay being there is made very, very tough. So hopefully... And push forward to make this a close game. Three minutes remaining on the first side. Aptly picking up the assist. A couple of players sneaking through for all Optic Gaming. One of which is going to be Nateshot. <coughs> Excuse me. He's just trying to make some plays. Around the outside. Play over top his left. That was Aptly. Nicely cleaned up. Waiting for some support from his teammate. Just needs to pull that out. Let his teammate get the kill. They do. Now Nateshot's going to try and go for the cap. Is he? Saints with a big defensive play. Bows. Oh! Saints with the kill on Bows. Millimeters away from the cap. Saints going huge on defense. Eight and five. Bows eight and four though to his credit. Being a very aggressive objective as a player. Bringing up a lot of kills as another one goes down. Saints and Apathy both dead. So Center and Dido need to go big on the defensive aspect. Bows he's down. Nature's down as well. Clayster slaying further up the map. He got a kill. So did Scump. Down to Clayster now. Is there anyone in a far up position here. He's actually going to try and lock down the spawn, but you can see no one spawning behind Strip, so Clayston is going to have to trade from behind. See someone up top. Oh, the accuracy to kill Dido. Nicely done, and now Optic pushing as a team. This is what they need to do. However, one player has slipped through the net of the Optic defense. It's Sensor, highlighted on your minimap in yellow. He gets cleaned up by Mr. Rembos, and now Clayston. What can he try and do? Push forward. There's one. He knows the second's up there. Jumps around the corner. Gets cleaned up by Dido. Nate shots in his own spawn pretty much so it comes down to Bose. These individual pushes really not working right now. They need one combined push from absolutely everybody on the team. And I imagine that would be more beneficial as they chop. Trying to make some plays around the right hand side. Picks up one place. He's got the second hand they find the third. They have two down right now. One off spawn already though. So Optic need to just start pushing and this is a good aggressive push. Finally, all four players pushing at once. Clayster and Scum both getting kills. Can Nateshot try and make some plays? Has a player just to his left-hand side. Scum's going to go out the corner. Now he knows he's there. Decides not to challenge though as teammates are getting taken down. <laughs> Gany slided in. We go to the last 60 seconds. Nateshot with a kill on the right-hand side. Doesn't get it. Bose, he's in strip. Scum, he's pushing the left-hand side. But SB pinned in the back of the base for around about two minutes now. It's been a huge, huge push coming in from Optic. But they haven't been able to get a single cap from any of, or a single cap since this huge push, I should say, since this massive combined effort of pushes. Now, we've got Bose up top. Gonna clean up one, 30 seconds left. Can he try and sneak? Oh, watch out for this though. Saints being a very sneaky beaver. Let's have a look. Is he gonna pick up the kill? No, Nature goes big on defense. That's exactly what he needed to do. Bose was cleaned up though. And once again, on the push. And Ended very well by Strictly Business. They refused to get spawn trapped on this side. Fantastic stuff from them. Saints 16 and 10. That huge defensive stop with the stun and the blitz portal. The last 13 seconds. Come find the two piece. Is he going to have enough time to get to that blitz portal? Well, he's going to need to because SB, they picked up one. Scum just around the corner. Kills Dino. Four seconds left. He needed to reload. The blitz is wide open. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Scumpy goes big right at the very end. 14 and 11. 
Look at the high fives coming in from both teams. And it shows you right now, both these two teams do not want to lose. It's the last day of land practice before Call of Duty Championships. And Skump just goes big. Huge, huge defensive plays. Nicely done. Now, going into the second side. What can Scumpy do? I'm going to turn one of those lights off because I'm, I'm being blinded and I look so pale. It's like, woo very, very pale. But anyway, that's to the handle that. Oops, get easy. I've put central. Optic two points down with four minutes, 42 seconds. Saint, I guarantee that's him. Yep. Does the same thing every time. That's something I've picked up on quite heavily since I've been watching him, and it's such a good strategy. It works more times than it fails. As Saints now in a very good position. Optic were able to cap one. Saints turns finally cleaned up. Now, what can Apathy do? He's in a great position here to try and make some plays, but Bo's out shooting him there after Apathy got first shot. Saints pushing up. Be careful for this man's center. He's so very sneaky when it comes to objective based work. Behind enemy lines. He doesn't actually need to pick up that kill. He can go straight for the blitz, and I think that's what he's thinking now. He recognizes it's wide open. He's going to grab that. He's going to extend the lead back to two for Strictly Business. A Saints sling, 19 and 13, having a great series so far, but one play for Optic has snuck around the outside. It's Nature. Can he try and make the plays? No, looking down. Meanwhile, Mr. Bowes, well, he's in a very good position. He's going to run that in. Very simple. Back down to one. There's another play for Optic, actually. All the way rotating around the outside. This time it's going to be Scumpy. The Ginger Ninja. He goes down. Watch out for this player from SB though. It's Sensor. He's just going to be able to run this one home. Extend the lead back to two. And this is the problem with players that isn't playing that defensive role. It leaves their base wide open. The trade did occur though. Optic able to cap one. And watch out for this player. It's made shot. He's going to be able to just knee slide in and get the, the equalizer. 7-7. Seven, seven. Good stuff coming from Optic. SB just letting their guard down for a couple of seconds, but Saints still slaying away. But look at Embos, he's slaying as well. 18 and 11. Nature on the screen, though. He is going to pick up that kill on Apathy. Left hand side, not fully clear yet, though, as he tries to peek back outside. He is going to get picked up now. Clayster, kind of go back to that more defensive role. Just sitting right at the very back, trying to pick up those kills from SB and the overextend I expect to see come in from Skump, but he actually may just rotate back just to help his team out. Going to, he has Natrox to the right hand side. He's waiting to see if Natrox is going to find him. And I think he has just seen someone that's a kill for Scump. That's on center. There's a second. Alan Apathy didn't happen though. He did get cleaned out. Clayster needs to be careful because there's one player in, <coughs> excuse me, in the form of Saints. He's going to pick up that kill. And he is going to go back into the lead for SP. Meanwhile though, whilst that was going on, you have Embos who is going to slide it in just in time. Got heavily tagged. Now the rotation back to their base. Making sure everything is good from both teams. They don't give anything to Branson as Clayster just outgunned Saints. Nicely done. Is he going to be able to pick up any more kills, though? FB being very sneaky. Again, Sensor, the same rush he's been doing the whole time. He's behind enemy lines. He doesn't actually even need to fire his gun at this point. Sensor's going to be able to knee slide that in. Back in the lead. 9-8 to eight for Strictly Business. We're going to the last few minutes. Back and forth action here at the Optic LAN. It's been this way all weekend. It's been so close. And it looks like it's going to be a similar thing here as Nature finds himself in a precarious situation. He's gone down. Embo's. Can he try and make the plays when his team needs him? He's actually going to be trapped from the right side. Embo's just destroyed Saints. Can he knee slide again? No, he can't. Dido picks up the kill. And Optic once again pushing down the middle of the map. There's going to be a couple of players inside the petrol station. Picks up one. Now Scump looking for the second. He is going to go down. Place the left by himself. SB pushing towards the Optic base. They have Sensor once again. The objective mastermind of this SB team up there with Apathy. Those two just work so well together. Sensor finds the holes. Apathy exploits the holes. It's the way that these two really do work together. Right now, Apathy on your screen has Saints there as well. So, Optic let the floodgates open. SB are now in control. <coughs> Excuse me. Apathy really in a great position. He's going to extend the lead back up to three. Last 52 seconds left. Apathy is going to clean up defensively as well. So SB looks set to take the second map as well. Good stuff from them. As Apathy just continuing on his rampage. He's on a four streak right now. Saints 23 went still. Really taking full advantage. They have another player running it in. Nicely done. Apathy again. Surprise, surprise. As the kills finally go down. 15 and 18 sensor. He just 
defensive aspect that was scum. Good stuff coming in from them in the last 20 seconds. Mathematically impossible. It's going to be SB going 2-0 up in the series. Have that update the graphic. So, good couple of games so far. SB definitely in control. Optic just need to try and find the groove of things once again. And as soon as they do, I back on, on the close games. Because yesterday was insane. Today, not quite as, as close so far. But you can see the players on your screen. We're going to go to a quick commercial break whilst we get the next game of Domination set up. Did you know salespeople spend... I dream too much I tell myself That I can't stop We could see clearly now We could see clearly now That I can't stop We could see clearly now Hopefully I don't look as pale, because Hex has these two massive, and I mean massive, like, shining clean up all up in my grill, all up in this, all up in my beard. And so that's really fun, but they are really good lights. So if I should turn them off, I'll try to pale. Hopefully I look hand in hand, you know, I've been in New York City for a while, I'm trying to get that, that kind of you know, thing no one's ever, ever said. Once a scump picks up the knife on center, so domination freight. As you can see, SB taking two of the seven maps we are going to see today. Or, well, I say we're going to see now. Because we're definitely going to see more action later on. I'm not sure what the guys want to do. Uh, it's great after this series. We're going to make lunch. Uh, this is the lunch. This is the last day. Practice things get in before Call of Duty Championships. I expect to see them playing uh, quite a bit today, to be fair. Um, as I said, last day. So they need to really get on that grind. I'll be answering some questions after this, so this will be the perfect time, guys, to tweet. If you have any questions or comments, this will be the good time to do it. Ask as many as you want, and hopefully I'll be able to address them at the half-time mark. And uh, just looking at the score, pretty even, 23 to 24. This is uh, really better start for Optic. However, that B-flag is being taken from them. It's SD Scum tries to shoot underneath the van. Bose picks up two, Scum picks up the third. Optic should be able to regain the flag, but no! Huge nays coming in, and that is... Gonna wipe them off. Nature looks to the left. Dido's cleaned him up. Dido and Saints 
I've been playing very well with tanks, especially in Miami in the US regionals. And he has continued on to, in my eyes, be one of the top players in North America right now. Sensational mini event, I guess you could say. Uh, he's been playing very, very well. Really testing the Optic guys, putting them on the back foot. Three point lead though in favor of SB. But still very fragile. Speaking of Saints, let's have a look at Saints. See his accuracy and his gun skill. Well, it was not as much gun skill as he needed or would have liked that time. Natrox cleans him up. Have a look at Sensor. He's going to be the man on the screen. Meanwhile, Optic have Embo is trying to cap that A flag. Is he going to be able to get it? Neutralizes it at least. Going to relieve some of the pressure. Is Clayston out looking at that B flag? Could he be able to just jump on top of it? Not going to happen. Taken down from the side. Those only at that C flag. So no one really trying to have that B flag. Nashot does get the kill on Dido, but it's just a trade. So SB starting to get back into the groove of things now as Clayston cleans one up up top. That was Saints. Can he find anybody else? That's the question. Two minutes remaining on the first side. Domination break. So just 11 point lead <coughs> excuse me, in favor of SB. I have a terrible, terrible cough. I'm not trying to get my apologies. I don't want to be rude. If I miss it, I missed. Fail. I think I know. Let's go. Jumps the corner though. That's a nice two piece for him. Happy and center cleaned up. Can he find the third? Saint too shrunk in that situation. Managed to stop the Ginger Ninja from that cap. Nature, he's dived on the blue flag. Couple of plays around him. And SB in full control of this game right now. Sensor cleans up one. Looking for anybody else around there. Seconds up top. Third right in front of him. Dito's going to trade that though. And now Saints. Taking that on the front side. Can he try and cap the B flag? That is going to be the big question. 20 point lead. So SB really increasing the pressure. Putting Optic on the back foot. The spawn trapping going down by Saints at the top right of the screen was there. Pretty impressive there. Afti as well. I'm just trying to get some spawn kills. But Optic not really being allowed outside of their base. Saints is really starting to put the pressure on 17 kills in 4 minutes of game time. More than 4 a minute. Really impressive stuff. In terms of the averages there. But they still have that flag. Finally some of them Optic. He is able to push through. I think that was actually uh, Clayster, who's on that eighth leg. He's going to be able to neutralize it and also cap it. But Optic, I'm just having a look at the minimap. They, they could actually pinch back towards B, but with 30 seconds left, kind of a little bit too much too late, if you will. It's a 23 point lead right now. It should slow down a little bit. 22. Yeah, Clayster trying to get pressure on the B flag. 21, 12 seconds left. So it should end at around about the 19 mark. But flags neutralized and also catch in five seconds. So Placer jumped on that last flag. They broke 69 to 91 point lead. Very, very emphatic. Twenty two point lead for SB. And as I said. I will now go into question mode, see if you guys have asked any good questions. Alright, let's have a look. Someone claiming they would destroy me in FIFA? Not gonna happen. Best FIFA player in Europe, right? No, that's not true. But if it was, that'd be kinda cool. Um, where can I find your music playlist? I tweeted it. Um, you should be able to find it in my videos and pictures thing on Twitter at Benson underscore you. Uh, can Optic still qualify for PAX? No, they actually forfeited some games which I was actually unaware of. So they kind of eliminated themselves from that. A little bit unfortunate, but they didn't realize they could still qualify. Um, what does it feel like casting alone? Um, I used to, when I, when I first got to casting, I, <coughs> I started off solo casting. That was how I, I got into it, so yeah. I, I kinda I kinda like it actually to be fair. I really do. Um people say I apparently people said I look bored. That's how I look when I cast. I'm not bored though. I'm just waiting for the last couple of minutes of the game. Should Moise be fired, yes. Um Who stood out at the Optic Land matches? <coughs> I would say Skump and Apathy, one play from each team. Um, any other good questions? 
Can you grow a beard? And if so, is it ginger? It's actually brown. Yes, I can grow a beard. I actually had a beard before I came here, but shaved it. Not like a massive beard, but you know. A decently sized one. Had a bit of a coughing fit. I'm all good. Do not fear. The game is here. Let's have a look. So, 22 point lead in favor of SB. They've started with three. Missing Saints. He is in the game now, though. So, that's good for them. A shot starts things off with the first blood. Can he try and continue the streak? Just have a look at that minimap. It's 2 0 if you're just tuning in in favor of SB. This is the best of seven. Oh, I say best. So it, we're seeing all seven respawn game types in a row. That's the, pretty much the series. They're going to play all seven no matter what the school line is. Just for the respawn practice. Plays that on the screen. He does finally take it out. Can someone jump on the B flag though? That is the big question. Looking at Bose here. Picks up two. Three fires. Everything. He's trying to get the wall bang. There is someone on B4 optic. It's actually going to be Clay. He goes down though. Both players go down. The Apathy picking up a huge clutch DP. Saint shuts down Bose. Scump now <coughs> all by himself. He's going to try and defend the B flag. Does one. Can't find the second. Apathy again. Getting those clutch kills. He's also on the flag for SB, but should remain neutral, I think. No, SB actually managed to grab it. Saints dived on it at the very last second to carry the cap through. So that lead now starting to extend. It was 22 points in that first side. Really starting to grow now. As SB, this is what is dangerous. It gets very dangerous. The spawn trap, we saw them do it yesterday. I'm very surprised to actually see Sensor push this far up in the A flag. May just be going for the trip cap, but he's putting a lot of pressure on. Should be able to pick up this kill as well. Nice, does it. And the trip cap is now locked in. Just barely. Clays to managing to pick up that kill. There was one player from Optic in the form of Bose. He's rotated all the way around the outside. But look at that spawn! Oh my god, Sensor just spawned on top of Embos. That was a, a tad redonkulous, if you will. Meanwhile, Saints, he's gone down at A, but damage pretty much already done there from SB. They locked down that trip cap. They stopped Optic from getting any points at all, and they're looking very, very good today. That's now Sensor on that B flag. No, place is cleaned out. Two. Dido shuts down one. And SB still controlling that B flag. It's a 20 point lead. Oh, Dido just running through people. Stop it, Dido. That was very naughty. Shutting down Scump. And also the second player. I'm not sure who that actually was. I think it may have been Nature there. But Dido continuing on the rampage. Can he find another two piece? We're actually running out of ammo. Getting a little bit unfortunate. He's 11 and 7. Clay 11 and 8, though. So both those two for the slaying number one spot. SB just pinning Optic in that A position. It's a. Small trap, we saw Optic do to actually come back on this map yesterday. But it's looking very good if you're an SB fan at this point. 27 point lead in the second side, plus the 22. So, very, very good lead for them. Scump looking towards the left hand side. This could be the start now of the Optic comeback. Three players go down. Looking at Clayster and Numbers to try and jump on top of this B flag. If they're going to do it, they need a trick cap. And they need it now. Clayster trying to make something happen for the boys in green. Sees another play to his right hand side. Nicely done. That's going to extend his streak to three. Can he find anybody else? One player over at the crate's top right. He did not expect that. Now Bo's on your screen. And to be honest, that was a nice two piece. But I think they have a little bit too much work to do. One player on C. They're going to trade C for A as SB have sensor on the A flag. Trade will go down, and I think everyone now has realized just how tough it would be. I think it's pretty much impossible now as we go into the last 60 seconds. Seen a couple of crazy spawns, though, on this Dom Freight. Very crazy spawns, actually. Another one just came in. As Clayster finishing up 15 and 13. <coughs> Excuse me. Dido 15 and 12. Both with a cap to their name, so those two doing some good job slaying. This game is over. It's going to be SB going 3-0 now in the lead on this series today and they are playing some very very good Call of Duty really good stuff from the, those guys the other side of the table and you know going into that next blitz I think just need to try and get themselves back in it try and get themselves composed 
got another four maps to see. So I'm hoping that Optic can try and make them as close as yesterday. They can still win the series, although as I said, they're going to be playing absolutely everything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It is all just for practice, and I know they're definitely playing something different. That's 100%. You can see by the way that Clay's is playing. And, you know, maybe it isn't working. Maybe they just have to revert back to how they were playing yesterday. We saw in Blitz, especially, Clayster trying to take on a different role. But SB in full control on that domination. And they are playing back how they... Or they're playing more like exactly how they were at the US Championships. But once we set up the next game, guys, I'm going to go for a quick commercial break. I'm going to go get myself a bottle of water before I lose my voice. Enjoy the music. we will see you guys in a sec. What's going on guys? <clears throat> Just checking my mic. Isn't muted. A couple of you guys tweeting at me saying how I'm a little quiet, so just amped up the volume <clears throat> just a smidge. Got my uh, lovely bottle of water. Dasani. For anyone that was wondering. Because apparently they put a little bit of salt in them. Thanks for everyone that tweeted me that. Interesting fact. Didn't know it. But back here at the Optic LAN. Situation we have. SB 3-0 up in maps against SB. We've gone over to Blitz Warhawk. And SB starting strong. Sensor picking up the first cap. He's 4-0. and oh. And I can tell you guys right now. I'm not sure if you can hear. But Clayster is getting very, very loud. I mean, he is getting very, very loud. He is screaming. He was saying, let's go. They don't want to lose this map. He was trying to get his team as, as hyped up as he possibly could. Uh, you know, fair, fair play to him for, for that. He's a winner. He doesn't like losing. I don't think anyone likes losing, to be honest. I personally hate it. But right now, SB really amping up the pressure. Apathy's going to run in another cap. Finally replied, though, by Mr. Bose from Optic. Let's I just make sure everything is good. There we go. Now, let's have a look. Sensor still 6 and 0. Yes, a die. Make that. S oh, no. No. Maybe not. Make that 6 and 1. Dido, he's going to get shut down as well. So, Saint LMS, what can he try and do? <coughs> Excuse me. I think right now, Scump is going to be the play to watch. As he pushes in towards Bar, turns his back. Oh, what an inconvenient Call of Duty timing moment that was. Talk about that so often, but it really is a thing. It really, it must be a thing. 
Bows further stuff now. Four optic shuts down one. Drops back. Smart play. Looks to his left. There should be a player here any second. That was apathy. He was trying to hunt down Bows. As, <coughs> excuse me, SB running in another cap. But Saints and Sansa both six and two. Skump goes down as well. And this is SB really trying to build themselves a little bit of a lead. Bows can't really challenge that one. Needs to back off. Anyone around there? There's going to be one play for SB. Who Bows is actually going to see. Jumps. Manages to just stay alive. No idea how. Luckily, though, Skump was able to clean that up. Still, no one from Optic really in a position of aggression right now. Only two caps down, so nothing too serious at this point. It's plenty of time in the first half, two and a half minutes. Bows looks towards the right-hand side. Not going to clean that one up, though. Now over to Nadeshot, who needs to pick up this kill for the defensive. There's actually two players there, and that's one of those risky times. He's trying to be sneaky, trying to do what he does best, and I think that's going to be a trade cap more than anything else. Unless Optic can go big on the defensive side, they can, and Nadeshot makes the smart decision. Gets the cap. 3-2 to two now. Still in favor of SB. But sign of life coming in from Optic Gaming. Now, looking at who is that on the far right-hand side. It's Bose. Still trying to cause some issues. See if he can pick up this kill. No, he can't. Scum's gone down as well. So, Nadeshot in the middle of the map. Tried to be sneaky. Thought about it. Decided picking up the kill was the best idea. Did so. Now over to the, the right-hand side. He's going to have one player pushing. It's Dido. He's killed Skump now. Oh, Nadeshot could actually just walk straight past Dido here. Dido has no idea. He's actually pushed through. Nadeshot's going to run right behind Dido. Pick up the cap. Nicely done from Nadeshot. And this is exactly why his objective-based skill is just on another level. Really intelligent stuff. He's managed to level up the playing field at three apiece now. As we go into the last minute and a half. Expect things to uh, get a little bit crazy now. As Saints, he goes down. Two plays down for SB, actually. So... Apathy, he's gone down. Dido looking at trying to do some defensive stops. He's going to need to. Nicely done. Picks up one. Picks up the uh, Never mind then. Doesn't. That should have definitely been a kill, but a little bit unfortunate. He's going to have a couple of players rushing down the right-hand side. Clay was one. He picks up the kill on Dido. Skump just flanking all the way back. SBR going to be able to run that one in, though. Skump not there in time. 48 seconds remaining. 4-3 to three in favor of SB. SB still pushing and applying the pressure. One play for Optic, it's Bose. Can he get one of his famous last couple of second caps? He's done it all weekend. There's the knife. Now, can he react in time? Not going to happen, though. Dido played very, very defensively there. Smart stuff from SB. They just can turtle the base at this point, make it very hard for anyone from Optic to try and make plays. But once again, Nadeshot. This time, Apathy has seen him. Nadeshot could actually get away. Let's have a look at his perspective, causing all sorts of issues. Wasting time here. There's no one going to be flanking. And Optic have left their base completely wide open. Saints is going to push the lead to two. And Nadeshot didn't react quick enough really there. But is he going to be able to turn the corner? He does. Can't get the kill unless Clayson can run in. Can't do. And Optic made the decision. In fact, he could. Oh, one second left. It could have been a three-point lead. It isn't, though. It stays at two. And Optic made that decision to, to push up as a team. And it just didn't work that time. They left their base wide open. And Apathy, to his credit, recognized and had faith in his teammates to pick up the kill. Rather than challenge Nature, he went and tried to get a cap of his own. Really good stuff coming in from SB. Cover me, I'm moving. So, Clayster going to his usual little spot for Blitz Warhawk. Up top. Is he going to find anyone? There's one. That's Apathy. Nice start from Bose. Nice shot from Nature. Three plays down already. Now, can someone from Optic try and get the cap? It's going to be Bose. He goes down. Now Nadeshot jumps around the corner. He's down as well. Clay, he's being aggressive, but he needs to just be a little bit careful here. Picks up one. That was Saints. Four minutes, 30 left. Optic still with some life in them. They can still come back and take this, especially when they have some players rotating all the way around the outside. Who is this? Sneaky little Embos. He has that <coughs> Excuse me, portal wide open. Can I run that in now? The lead back down to just one. However, someone from SB, pretty far forward at Saints. He goes down. Anybody else? Sensor, he's down as well. So, Optic's trying to get some kills on the board, which is what they need. If you can outslay your opponent, you are going to be able to just completely dominate them in a game type like Blitz, something we saw Complexity do all throughout the last couple of events. Just outslay, to, to put it simply, and, and it, it does work. It really does. So. Having players which can pick up those kills, such as, you know, Scump and Cloyster, 
and, and Saints and Dido, it just helps your your blitz game so, so much. Anthony now pushing down the left-hand side. He's picked up one. Has a play right behind him. Turns the corner. Does get cleaned out. However, no one as of yet really in a position. You see, wow, oh my god, Dido, what the hell is this? This is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anyone really run a run this on on blitz, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with him. In fact, there's no point really staying with him because there's nothing going on. Big question is now: Can Optic go big on the defensive side of things? Nature comes up one. Couldn't see the second. It was Saints in a good position. Can't get the cap though, and still Optic have this one player, Clayster, just staying around this left hand side of the map. Hasn't really seen anything yet because Dido is stationary on it on his flag. I mean. It's an interesting strategy. I, I don't really think SB would, would would apply this, but they have decided to. As Clay, he goes down as well. Scump, right hand side, picks up one. Can he find a second? No, he can't. He goes down. Mr. Embo's trying to make some plays, but look at this again. Apathy with an open portal. Has a teammate behind him. He does get cleaned out, but Apathy's going to run that in. The lead goes back to two. And it's now eight shots down. Bows. And Clayster, two sole remaining plays for a couple of seconds there for Optic. Trying to push down that left-hand side. There's run straight to Dido. Dido has literally been sat in this position for about a good 30 seconds or so. He hasn't really moved at all. Finally decides to. Gets cleaned up by Clayster. <laughs> Unfortunate stuff from him, but Sensor once again. An open blitz portal just about. He's actually looked towards the right-hand side. Is he going to get the kill? Yes, he is. And the cap. Keeps it at two as the trade goes down. Optic pick up a cap of their own. The last two minutes. It is still doable, but Sensor. Ooh, knife from Scump. I was going to say Sensor could just go for the relay here, but wasn't allowed to do so. Apathy on the screen. Picks up one. Pressure going down in the Optic base. Saints gets cleaned up. Sensor pushing down the left hand side. Apathy in the position in the middle to try and help him. And oh, I love this sneaky little play from Apathy. Completely. Bamboozling, but Scump kind of predicted it. Got a knife of his own. Saints 25 and 16 at this point. Really putting up strong numbers. Sensor, he's done it again. The objective genius just sneaking around consistently. And speaking of sneaking, we have this man who's going to run into a wild Dido without a shadow of a doubt. That thermal LMG. Clay's to make small work of him. And now Clay on the aggressive side. What can he do? The last 63 seconds. On the board, Clay sees another one. He's trying to do everything himself. Leaving his, his blitz ball wide open, trying to push his teammates to be more aggressive. Because that's what they need now in the last couple of seconds. But you see no one in a position to really help him out. Scump, the only one that's pushed far forward. 46 seconds. What can he do? Just being very patient. And SB kind of turtling in their base. It's a bit risky. But as soon as they get those kills, I do expect to see them push. Now, Clayster goes down. Scump goes down. One trade at least. Time is running out. This is where Optic need to be aggressive. They can't afford to rest on the laurels. Bose is starting to make a push down the right-hand side. He goes down. Scump off spawn. Nature, the furthest far, the furthest forward player for Optic. Kills Dido. But the cap is going to need to come in now. They need to get it. It's not going to happen, though. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Scump's dead as well. And that is going to be SB taking Blitz Warhawk as well. Putting them 4 and 0 for the day. A sensational game from them. They are looking so good. Really have stepped up. And Saints dropping 30 for 19. Just unreal performance from him. And whilst I go find out what the next map is going to be, I'm just going to run a quick commercial ad. And we will be right back with guys. Make sure you're tweeting out the stream and asking any questions you have.
What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Optic Plan. It's a best of seven or all seven maps of respawn and right now SB are in full control. Four to zero up. They're playing out of their minds. A couple of people tweeting at me as well during that break saying uh, to me it feels like Optic are playing as individuals not really playing as a team. Would you agree? And I kind of I don't I don't really want to agree with that because I, I can see where people would, would think that, but I, I kind of replied to a few of you guys saying how I think today they're just trying out you know different strats, see if they can make something work. So, I mean, don't really take anything, but 100% this is what's going to happen. Like, look at yesterday, right? Yesterday, I'll take, we're, we're taking down SB in some series, SB took them down in others. So, I think, you know, once they, once they settle down today, they should get back on winning form. However, I'm going to rely on this man, Skump, I think. To really heat up Playster as well. Having a bit of a a slow start to the day, I think it's fair. We, we all know Playster is one of the best ARs in the world. I'm one of the just general best players in the world, so he does need to just try and pick things up just a tad. And uh, so you got bows on your screen right now for Team Optic. He's going to be pushing around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. Three and a half minutes remain. As a wild big team may have just walked past your camera. You may have just seen him. Maybe. He's trying to escape my grasp. This bow picks up the knife. Clayster finally getting some quick kills in succession. Dido, though, have a look at him. It looks like Optic may actually go for the trip cap here. They have one player on C. They have got it just for a couple of seconds. Are they going to be able to capitalize upon it? Well, SB will cap that C flag, but this is good from Optic now. Can they try and bring themselves back into this series? They're not going to be able to win it, but they will be able to, to go out four to three minimum. This bow's Cleans up one, and he's got a second, and this is good. From Optic cycling back towards that B flag. Scump needs to pick up this kill hit. Nature was there, though, to kill sensor. Scump, woohoo, just bait and switching. Peeking, and peeking away. The assist comes in. Now that B flag is being lost, though, so Scump is going to need to react to this. He's going to have a couple of players pushing from his left hand side. I think he is going to be able to secure it, though. As the flag is back under Optic control, 41 to 39. Two and a half minutes remaining. Scump still on your screen. That's one kill coming in for Scump. That was on Dido. I didn't find anybody else. Oh, peeks around the corner. Does get taken down. Bows, looking at that B flag, it is now neutral. Optic do have the lead, though. It's a fragile one, but it's still a lead at five points as we go into the last two minutes of the first round. Have a look at Bows, 10 and 8. Got Scump 11 and 8 as well. Bo's really starting to heat up a little bit, but that B flag has gone back to SB. Optic needs to just try and hop on top of it. And let's have a look. You've got Saints just covering around the outside. Is there going to be anyone along the alleyway? Well, there's going to be a couple of plays as Nature makes small work of him. That B flag. Is there going to be anyone there? Absolutely no one. It's still going to be under Optic control, though, and it's mainly because of this man, Kalaster, slaying around the outside of it. And one play from SB. Who was that sneaky player there? It was actually Sensor. I, I missed that as I was flying around with my camera having some fun. He rotated all the way towards the A flag. I managed to pick that up. So Optic now needs to make that decision as a team. Do they go A? Do they go C? But they need to make sure they don't lose C. Uh, sorry, B. Absolutely diving straight on it. He is going to be able to grab that flag, I think. Don't think anyone's going to be able to stop him. Three plays from Optic actually drop back to cap that A flag. So... Maybe a, a little bit of lack of communication there. No one left covering the B flag. Now can they stay the way back up towards the top of the map? SB back in control of this game. Four point lead. 48 seconds left. Bo's going up top. Cleans up one. That was Dido. Can you find anybody else pre-firing around? Going to grab the B flag once again. Five point game. 36 seconds left. Can Optic hold on to the B flag? That is going to be clutch. It's going to come down to this man. Optic nade shot. On your screens. Has one in front of him. Makes more work of that, but he can't find the second though. Bows, he goes down as well. Scump, he's going to be on the B flag all by himself. He's gone down as well. Clayster throwing the nades in, trying to get it back to a tied game. It's going to be tied just now, but he goes down as well. A flag being defended. Nicely cleaned up there by Bows. Is there anyone on the B flag though? Bows is going to be the closest player around there. Three plays from SP. Dived on top of it. Five seconds remaining. It's a tied game. I think it may just tick over no it ends a tied game 79 79 fantastic comeback right at the very end by sp but wow sensational stuff from both these two teams they need to write down the score because it was irrelevant it's tied uh this the series is over this is a new 
one. No, that's not true. This is a whole continued seven maps of a series. So you know. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the teams. Don't really think that I, I'm trying to hear what Clay's trying to say. He's, he's always wanted to talk strats after a side, but not really speaking that loud. <sighs> uh, to clarify to Nick Nastosios, this isn't a best of 11. It's uh, seven maps of four respawn only. I think they are going to play a best of 11 later on. Um, not now though, as the second side, or well, the second side of the map has just been loaded up. Um, any questions? Is the Optic Land tomorrow? No, Optic Land, this is the last day of the Optic Land, as everyone is heading out to sunny, sunny Los Angeles, California for Call of Duty World Championship. Uh, I understand teams want to try new strategy, but isn't it better to try what you know so close to close champs? Um, yes and no. I think it's always good to throw in a curveball just to see if uh, you can try something different. Um, are they going to play search? I, I'm not sure. You'd, I'll find out from the players. Uh, what was your best stream you have done? Best stream that I've done? That's a, a, a tough one. I don't really think I have a, a, a best stream that I have individually done. I think one of, one of the best events I've been to was called G Championship last year. This year is going to be even better, though. So, I think that's going to be fun. <coughs> have a look. I'm moving. So, now, going over to Domination on Sovereign's second side. First side ended a tie. Right, I've got a really itchy, itchy finger there. That was a tad uncomfortable. So don't worry about any complicated mathematics. You won't need to do it. Whoever wins the second side will, in fact, win the map. As Bose, he's going to jump on that B flag. He's going to grab it as well. So good stuff coming in from him in the first 30 seconds. Picked up one. Couldn't pick up the second, though. And I'm just going to spin around on my chair as well. because it's Oh, so, so, so comfy. Apparently, this is the chair that Hex uses upstairs. So it's a secret comfy chair. I'm just going to around. Because it's really comfy. Embo's on the screen. Play to his right hand side. Decides he actually doesn't want any of that. Backs off now. Nature trying to make some plays. Sadly, it wasn't to be. There's Clayster now on your screen. He's going to pick up one. Losing that B flag though. Is anyone going to be in a position to try and pick it up? Clayster, he's going to be the closest. Looks down towards the B flag. Three plays go down. Obviously going to grab that straight back and... This is a significantly better start to this Domination Sovereign than they had on that first side. If you remember, it was a little bit shady. And there's going to be a lot of action going down on this B flag. And uh, just trying to get the view contested. Nature picks up one. There's going to be a second player around there. Yeah, kill goes in from Bose. So nicely defended. However, the C flag is being neutralized. That was by Dido. So he's trying to cause some issues. Trying to find out where the fucking plays are. There's one. That was Clay. Now if he picks up the second as well, that would be huge. He's going to back off, though. He's going to peek. If Dido picks it up, which he doesn't, Bose might to come up clutch. However, that B flag has now been taken back under the control of Optic Gaming. So they really are starting to build themselves a little bit of a lead now. B flag neutral once again. Nate shot. Be on it though, trying to pre fire the corner. There is a player there. Luckily, his teammate was there. That was Clay who managed to cap that B flag. Three players go down, Scum picking up all kinds of kills. Have a look at the Ginger Ninja. After Clay's the pistol, this one with the pistol switch. Oh, Sensor, sit down. You just got annihilated by the pistol of Clay. He needed to reload his primary, pulled out his pistol. Sensational stuff. You know, let's just stay on board with Clay because he's starting to heat up now. He's getting loud as well. Six point streak, 10 and 3. Looking to continue the streak. Now this is where Glaster becomes an unstoppable force. As soon as he starts to get the momentum, Optic in full control of this second side. Much better stuff as Clay continues the rampage, shutting down Dido. 12 and 3, an 8 point streak. Oh, the knife comes in from Saints to end it though. 9 and 7, Stumpy Nature, 6 and 4. 
someone on that B flag for Strictly Business. It's Apathy. Is he going to be able to cap it, though? That's going to be the question. The smoke grenade goes down. He is going to cap it and hits the nade kill. Wow, nice Kobe from Apathy. Oh, that him and Sensor are going to be the last couple of plays for SB alive. Can they manage to produce a comeback? We've seen SB do it so many times. One of the best teams in the world right now, without a shadow of a doubt, the US champions. This is a situation they were at a fair few times at the US Championship. And they seem to just get their heads right back in the game at the very end as we approach the last 1 minute 25. It's 66 to 49, so a 17 point lead in the last minute. Pretty much Optic, they don't have control of B. Place that just needs to hold on to this C flag. There's going to be a player from SB directly behind him. I don't think he's realized. He's still going to be there, but Clay's actually stuck on the robot. Oh my god, Clay's had an absolute nightmare there. He can't get out. The robot preventing him. Luckily, though, luckily, Clay's teammate was there. I'm not sure who that was. I think it may have been Embos who managed to kill the SB player that was trying to cap that C flag, but that was almost a shocker. Very unlucky stuff. And now Optic's starting to flood that B flag. If they can cap this, it's going to be map to them. The flag's contested. Bose peeked out the most inconvenient time, but luckily, they are able to get it. Fantastic stuff from Optic. 30 seconds left. They still have control of B. They have control of C. There's going to be no way SB can come back into this one now. After a valiant effort, though, you have to say, but comical when Clay got stuck on that robot. Bless his little heart. Trying to trying to fly around. Let's have a look at some free count action. Just because why not? You've got Nate Shot there trying to cover the right-hand side. There's going to be a couple of players pushing. Nate Shot's going to have center right in front of him. And Sensor gets the knife on Nate Shot. Can he get the B flag? Well... Doesn't really matter as Saint's going to get shot. A couple of kills going in. Bose is trying to make some plays. Sensor versus Bose. Sensor's going to win that one out. But it doesn't matter. Optic Gaming going to take their first map of the day. Good stuff from Clay with that pistol switch and some fantastic kills all around. But once we get the next game underway, I'm going to throw to a commercial break and listen to some awesome tunes.
What's going on guys? We are back. It's a game of Blitz on Freight. I'll take in the first map of the day. As now, Clayster, 3 to 1. Skump, 3 and 1 as well. Blitz has been a game type they've really struggled with today. However, that's a good start for Optic with the first cap. <coughs> that was Money B, Mr. Rembo's. Getting the kill, sorry, getting the cap. And Skump defending his base. Clayster also defending four and one, five and two respectively, those two players now. Can they try and up the ante? Can they start being more aggressive? That's going to be the question. They need to try and get themselves a big, big lead because SB have been coming back on them all day. This is the sixth out of seventh map you're going to see in this series. So we are going to see a couple more later on in the day. I'm not sure what the players plan on doing after this series, whether they want to go straight into some more action. But we shall see. As Clay picks up one. Clay's very much now gone, gone back to his old players. <laughs> Four players go down. Clay's going back to his old role, but mixing up a little bit, it seems. Now being aggressive, recognizing with four down. Oh, he got stuck on the pole. That was unfortunate. But Scump, he's going to go all the way around the outside. Didn't need to pick that killer, but did. Arguably shouldn't have done that. That was a, a little bit risky. Dita goes down, though. Optic should be able to get the cap now. Campos pick up a couple of kill series in a nice position to do so. Not able to pick up any, though. Although the cap did go in. There's one. There's two. Hembo, has got a quad from here yesterday. Another kill and another cap going in for Optic. This is <coughs> much, much better from that. Oops. Hembo's staying in this familiar position. Finally goes down. Not the center. He picked up that one. Placed it. Looking around the outside. Don't think he's going to be able to pick up anything here. That's one kill goes down. The second, is he going to get it? No, he's not. Nate shot, though. Is able to clean that one up. Skump, 12 to 6. Goodness gracious me. 13 and 6. He's finally woken up a little bit. There's another kill for the Ginger Ninja. Can he find anybody else? He needs to reload. Just take his time. But the knife comes in from Saints. But Optic are up 4 0. Nate shot with two caps. Skump with one. Bows with one as well. SB, on the other hand, really starting to struggle. Apathy, two and ten. Sensor, three and nine. Everyone really needs to pick it up on their side as the, the tr relay train coming in from Optic. Nature in a position to really do some work. He's going to peek around the corner. There's one. Can he find a second? That would have been sensational. Not going to happen, though. But still, Optic applying the pressure. And Clayster are doing such a good job on defense. He's back to his old role. And this is what I was talking about earlier on. You know, they're trying something out a little bit different. And the way Clayster's playing Blitz and They've gone back to the old ways, and it's definitely working a lot better. It's, it, it's coming back down to how they were playing yesterday. Much more efficient ways of, of playing. SB really are stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Not able to get a single cap in this first side. Very unlike them. Apathy and the sense of the objective masterminds really struggling on this first side. Hopefully they can pick things up. But finally, another Optic player is going to run it in. That time it was Money B. 6-0 and o, opening up the SB floodgates. Nothing they can do. <laughs> finally, SB get a cap. It's taking them four minutes before Saints finally is able to run through. Now, Bows on the screen. It's wide open if he wants to go for it. Turns around, picks up the kill. Place the picks up a second. Bows! Oh, hello, Saints. Shut down. Seven to one in the last minute. And there's a relay potential from this man, Scumpy. He's gone down, though, so that's not going to happen. Bows is rotated all the way around the right-hand side. Himself in a nice position back lumber. He didn't actually need to pick that up, but went for it anyway. And it's a similar thing to what we saw Scumpy do. Those sort of kills you don't need to go for. You can let them go. Scumpy sees one, just picks up the kill on Apathy before he runs it home. Clayster on the defensive side. He needs to try and pick up that kill. Oh, the kill comes in from Nature, I believe. Right, he's going to have to do the defensive one. play to his right hand side. That should be a cap for SB. 7 to 2. 15 seconds left. I don't think. Anyone else is really going to be able to get a cap realistically here. Unless we see some phenomenal plays come in. But I don't think it's going to be happening. And that is going to be the end of the first round. Kill comes in from play right at the end. 7-2 to two, though in favor of Optic. Really, really nice plays. Seven to two, a score after that first side. Saints putting up 16 kills, but the big star in that first side is Scumpy. 20 kills, 13 deaths in five minutes.
That's average of four kills every single minute. Really having a, a fantastic game. Can he finish on the 40 bomb? That would be, that'd be huge. It really would be. But he's already gone down in this side. But obviously with a, with a five-point lead, it's pretty hard to throw away a five-point lead. I'm not going to lie. But I've seen bigger leads go away. And that's a good start for SB. They get the first cap of the second side. Now, can Optic reply? They don't want to play too defensively. The important thing that they need to do is amp up the pressure. And it's going to come down to whether this man can continue his slaying Rampage. Saw so one play from SB slip under the net. He's going to get that cap. It's going to be traded with Saints, who was able to get the cap. Now, Bose trying to get himself into a position. Oh, Bose, the two-piece. Dido and Apathy both go down. Sneaky play from Bose. This could work. Play to his right-hand side. He gets the kill as well on Saints, but gets denied the cap. Apathy coming in clutch right at the very end. Nate shot on your screen. Has some sort of witchcraft there. He recognized there was a player underneath there. Teammates gets the kill, though. Can he somehow find anyone? Nope, not going to happen. Saints goes down as well. Scump still trying to work towards some pretty big digits in the slaying department. There's a couple of kills off if he's going to try and keep up this average of four kills every minute. Bose, he goes down as well. Nature, last man standing for Optic momentarily. Going to have some players pushing. This is big. Nature needs to go big here. He's going to get one. But this play is right behind him. <laughs> Excuse me. Clayster on his screen right now. Has a play to his right-hand side. He goes down. Now Nate needs to go big defensively. He's going to be able to do so. He's lying on the blitz cap. There's going to be a play directly behind him. He does go down. And SB, the comeback, has started. I just realized I may have just done goofed. Oh, lordy lord. It's only two minutes. It's a fail. It's all good. The camera has changed. Don't worry. My bad, dudes. It's been a long day, okay? It's been a long day. Saints, right now, picks up the kill. Can he find anybody else? Scump, he's looking towards the left-hand side. Three-point game with two minutes 42. Bose, can he try and make anything? Picks up a very impressive kill, actually. That was on Dido. Two and a half minutes remaining. Place that on your screen. Still that three-point lead. Two minutes, 20 left. Place that 20 and 13. Oh, he goes down. Embos, 19 and 16. Picks up one. Can't pick up the second, though. Scump, 25 and 20. Finds one in front of him. Second play to the right-hand side. He goes down. Four plays go down. And SB racking up the pressure. It's two caps away and this is the position that sense is going to be in and it's going to be so favorable for sb now to just bring this game back because of this one position holding this back lumber is just vital it takes the spawns sb put in another cap comeback really starting to come down optic just not able to to hang defensively apathy goes down saints on your screen can he try and make some plays Get back here, there's one, there's two. Big play from Saints, pre-firing to try and find the third. There is a third and fourth player there. He's pre-firing every single corner, jumps around the corner. Finally, Clayster cleans him up though. Apathy, he goes down. It's a one point game. Center is just gonna dive. Oh, he got the knife kill in mid air. That was on Nate shot. Reactions of a Hawk. We have a tied game, ladies and gentlemen. A tied game at this point. 8-8, eight, eight, the last 60 seconds. It's Nadeshot trying to make the plays for the boys in green. One player in Optic on the defensive side. He's going to be flooded. So Nadeshot needs to get this cap. I think he's going to be able to do so. So now it goes down to defensive Scumpy. What can he do? It's 9-9. Nine, nine. He's going to go down instantly. Is there anybody else? Players dropping left, right, and center. It falls down to Clayster. Four players go down. 40 seconds left. SB all up in the spawn trap business. Really making it difficult for Optic. And it's this man, Dino. Oh, Two-piece for Dino. Nice play. Clay's to the left. Last man standing again. And SP, the comeback is so very real at this point. No one from Optic really in a position to overextend apart from him. It's Embos. It comes down to him. A two-point game. He needs to cap this and he needs to cap it now. There's going to be one player left. If he doesn't go now, he's not going to have the time mathematically. And that is going to be that 10 to 11. And they're a second off on that cap. There was a player there, but... Saints, 30 and 23. 
absolutely phenomenal stuff coming from SP to come back from that. One of the best comebacks I've seen. Apologies again for the <coughs> forgetting of changing the screen. It's been a long day, like I said. It's been a long week, week actually, I should say. So apologies. I say it's the first time I've done it, to be fair. I haven't done it at all. But whilst I apologize and give everyone a, a hug, go to a quick commercial break. This is some cool tunes. And we are back for the last game of the series. Gameplay is on. I didn't fail. High five. Let's go. Domination Octane. It's 5-1 SB in the overall series of respawn only. Now, let's have a look at Claystat. Can be on your screen. Hello, says Claystat. Shuts down Appy. Nicely done. Mike is immune. Everything is good. Let's go. Go team. High five. Pow. But anyway, Claystat on your screen. 3-0 to start the Caps as well. What the hell? How did he even? All oh, right. Okay. So basically, in that break, placed the went away, turned on his hacks, came back. That that's definitely seems to be what has happened. Five and out. Some fantastic accuracy. Six and out. Specialist bonus. Ding 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 ding. But he only has 17 bullets left, so he's gonna have to look at trying to pick up a weapon. Oh no! Pull out the pistol. Do it. I know you have it. I know you have it. Oh, one bullet away from a legendary eight and out start. That would have been fantastic, but obviously you have control in this domination. It's 20 to 12. It's placed at 7 1. <clears throat> Can Optic try and defend that B flag? Well, placed to actually just got caught out a little bit there. B flag is being taken by SB. <clears throat> Are they going to be able to grab it though? Nate Shark needs to try and do some work defensively. Jumps down. They have the flag. And Nate Shark goes down as well, so unfortunate stuff there. Well, the Bose has rotated back towards that C flag after a, a momentary trip cap there from SB. Good pickup though from Bose, showing down Apathy. Can he find anybody else? He looks towards that B flag, he goes down, Scump. No one there just yet, sees the pick, and Dido gets the kill. Wow, fantastic accuracy coming in from him. As speaking of SB, Saints, no real surprise to be the slain animal. Top of his team once again, seven and five. Looking for another kill, not gonna happen. Dido defending that B flag like a champ. 
Is he going to be able to pick up anybody else? There's one up top. Second place to the left hand side. Oh, dips and slides. Bose comes out big with the kill. Uh, Saints still trying to play his way to the top of the leaderboard. SB starting to pull away a little bit. 41 to 36. Five point lead. As everyone going down for SB actually momentarily. So can Optic try and jump on the B flag? That's going to be the question. Bose is up top. Playster. He's doing everything objectively for his team now. He's really trying to mix things up. He's trying to get the kills and the objective stuff. Players just went to the right hand side of the crate actually. 9 and 5. He's actually gone up top. Falls back down onto B. There's going to be two players rushing from SB. There's one. Gets the assist. Bose helping him out on that one. Two players go down, Saints and Dido from SB. Nade comes in, shuts down Clay, but Clay with four caps. So he really is taking on that role of he just wants to do absolutely everything. Which is good, I guess, but he really is trying to bring Optic back into this series. Well, I say the series back into this domination the series. We've got obviously mathematically over, but still. Four fights, sorry, five to one in favor of SB. Optic want to try and win this game of domination and they're going to do it. They need to hold on to that B flag. Four players go down. Bo's going to be off respawn. Can he try and defend it? There's going to be one SB player there. Jumps around the corner. He gets cleaned out by, I think that was actually Clay Clayster. Yeah, Clayster was trying to kill Guido on the flag. And he did manage to kill him, but there's going to be a player, probably Apathy, going around the outside from this B flag. Can SB cap it? Sensor's lying on it. He's going to cap it. <clears throat> there it is. SB have to call the beat. So that lead. It's going to start to diminish a tad, unless Dido can go big in this position. There's one player, smoke goes down, there's the second player, Dido, oh ho ho! Shaky aim towards the end there, Skump going to punish him for that. Last 60 seconds of the gameplay, there's a six point differential in favour of Optic Gaming still. Sensor trying to do everything he possibly can, that was a huge two kills, Trophy System goes down. SB looking to try and take back that B flag. Going to do it, dips. Doesn't manage to put up that one. He's going to pay the price. SB needs to just defend that B flag with everything they have. Dida goes down. Saints needs to go big. Last man up, really. For SB. Altic going to grab that B flag right back. Last 20 seconds. Seven point lead. Santa with the two piece. He's had a fantastic game to his credit. 15 and 10. Top slate. Keeping up with Clayster. But Clayster, six captures. He is doing absolutely everything he possibly can as we go into the half with a 10 point Optic Gaming lead. So a really, really fantastic performance going in from place that have a look at the team. I will try and remember to change the, the overlay this time and I will check Twitter, see if any of you guys have put in a question. Someone asking if they can have a hug. Um, 1v1 Hex. <laughs> if, you, if you guys tweet at Hex, ask for a 1v1 snipe. I'm sure he'll probably try and make it happen. Um, Oh, apparently since we've got a quad. Oopsie. <laughs> See if the game is up. Not yet. No questions for now. Right now, SB having a little bit of a uh, argument. Um, so, Dragonator, Zelly Dragon, yes, you do get your hug. Tell Clay he promised daily vlogs. I will bring that up to him. How would you have to be to compete at MLG Anaheim? I don't think there is an age limit, actually. Can I hug you, Mr. J. Kempy? Of course. Why did I decide to become a COD broadcaster? I wanted to do something I enjoyed. I enjoy doing it. it. Made sense. I support Manchester United at Young Mula Jamie. Um, do the teams share knowledge? Yes, they do. Uh, that was from Nomo. Ask Clay if I can apply to be his best friend. Slap Cloyster. Uh, how can I be a part of a professional COD team? Um, practice, 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 practice. 
<laughs> People saying 1v. Already getting tweets about X 1v1. Alright, well, the second side has kicked off. And I changed the screen. Not the best. I remember this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, domination. Obtain Optic Gaming with a 10 point lead. I'm going to look at Saints to do what he normally does. And go straight towards that B flag. Now, he goes down. Sensor trying to peek. Only picked up. One. Is he going to get the flag though? I think he is. There's no one there to challenge him. Flag goes down. Good start for SB. Really strong effort. Nido, four and over. Oh, holy poop. Oh, I missed that. That's the fifth kill. Is he going to get it? Oh, runs out of ammo as well. But now Nido needs to get that knife kill or search for a weapon. Now oh, there's an MPAR on the B flag. Didn't get much easier than that. And he had to walk a couple of feet. Um, Dido still looking for some kill. Oh, Dido! <coughs> that was nasty. He actually saw a play there, but didn't pick him up. Saints, what can he try and do? B flag is being taken. No surprise. Nature and Clayston, they're going to be on that one. Oh, sorry, not Clayston. Nature and I think it was, uh, must have been Embos, actually. Another, the place with the caps. B flag goes back in favor of Optic Gaming now. Can they try and hold on? Scump. Picks up one. Optic Gaming with a 10 point lead. That is all they had from that first side. Shot's not able to defend the B flag. <clears throat> Neither is Clayster. Saints with the two piece. Both jumps around the corner. Saints is still going to be there. Sensor picks up one. Scump replies. Oopsie daisy. Apathy. He's going to be over at the B flag. Pulls out the thermal. There's one. Second player is going to be around there. Luckily, he has his teammates in support. SB trying to grab the B flag back again. Saints is going to pick it up. Flag should go back in favor of SB. And they are currently in the lead, trying to reduce that 10 point deficit. They have it down to six for now. There's B once again being jumped on by Optic Gaming. Clayster trying to defend his teammate, Nadeshot, who was on that B flag. They were able to actually cap it. So, fair play to Nadeshot for jumping on that. Clayster just going to try and slay around the last two and a half minutes approach of Domination Octane and the seventh map. Now can place to go big. He needs to defend this B flag. If Optic have any chance of securing this, it is going to come down to Clayster and defending that B flag. And look at this play from Embos. I just saw that on the on the mini map. Picked up one. <clears throat> now trying to rotate around the outside. Didn't look. So back over to Clayster. There's the pick. Looking for another kill. Hasn't seen any more. There is actually the person. But Clayster in a horrible position. Really pinned in on this B flag. Needs help from Nature. He does get that help as well. And Optic starting to go build themselves another lead. Obviously, 10 points lead on that first side. Build themselves a lead in the second side. It's going to be very, very difficult for SB to come back. However, we did see the US champs, SB almost come back from a 51-point deficit against Team Complexity. Clay goes down. Dido, he's down. Sensor, what can he do for SB? Time is picking. Now I'm going to need to jump on that B flag very, very soon. Dido, last man up. 12 and 8. What can he do? He's down as well. So Optic stepping up to another gear in terms of the slaying department. Good stuff to see. Scrum on your screens. Looks to his left. Picks up one. Looks to his right. Nobody home. Looking through the thermal as well, but really good stuff. Coming from Optic is both pushing for the trip cap. Very ambitious this. I'm not sure if that was maybe the, the best thing to do, but he went for it. Didn't pay off this time. Optic really are starting to build up a huge lead now. Looks like this series is going to end 5 for 2. Bose, he's still on that B flag, 12 and 9. <clears throat> With those two caps as well. The last 60 seconds. Oh, Gary, the just gave Bose the business. He went down on the B flag shortly after, though, to place that. Nature picks up Dido. Sensor last alive. He's actually decided to overextend all the way to A. However, there's a player just waiting for him. That was Nature using his COD smarts. However, two more plays from SB. Trying to cap towards that A flag. It's not looking good for SB in this domination lockdown, but they've had some fantastic games in this series. 30 seconds left, Saints. He's on that A flag, not going to be able to pick it up. And Optic have played domination octane just fantastically on both sides. Placed that doing some good slaying, but really, Embos has been the story. Picked up some, I think, 15 kills in the first side, 16 kills in the second, plus his objective brilliance, really giving Optic a very, very strong lead. So they are going to go ahead and take Domination Octane 
relatively comfortably, and that's going to end this first series 5-2. to two. Definitely should have been maybe a tad closer, a couple of mistakes coming in, sleeping through the net. But whilst I find out exactly what the players are going to do, I'm going to go to the first break, and we'll be right back and let you know. What's going on guys we are back you can see the players just discussing the series there on your screens but the guys are going to go grab some food so we're going to take a 10 minute break before they maybe get some scrims against some different teams may play again <clears throat> get some some good old land practice back but i'm going to leave the music on so enjoy and we'll be back in around about 10 minutes time Did you know that the finest furniture workroom in all of Chicagoland is at the Walter E. Smith Building in Itasca? Whether you have a valuable antique, a family heirloom you cherish, or just a favorite chair or sofa you want to keep, you need to learn more about this great service at Walter E. Smith. So come on in. Greetings from the Walter E. Smith Upholstery Workrooms, where we'll take your old sofa, and by the time we give it back, it'll be better than new. So let's take a tour. We'll pick up your old sofa on our big brown trucks, or you can drop it off for free. First, we remove and recycle all the old fabric and foam. Next, we check the springs and frame, and we'll make any minor repairs needed at no charge. Then, our master craftsman precision cuts the new fabric. Walter, how many times do I have to tell you you're not allowed to play with the sewing machines? We got the best seamstresses in the world, and you're here playing on the machine. Go on, go back to your office. Go on. 
Oh, I wear the seam too. Your fabric is then carefully sewn to make a durable seam that's guaranteed. The fabric is then securely upholstered to the frame so it stays put. Hey, hey, now that you for sure are not allowed to use. You can hurt somebody. Go on, go on back to your office. Where's the upholsterer? Our custom-made cushions fit like a glove. And before we let it go, we inspect each piece carefully to make sure it's perfect and that we'd love to have it in our own home. <laughs> but don't worry, we won't keep it. Walter E. Smith, you dream it, we build it.
Save money and look good doing it during Rollback Madness at Walmart. Pantene and Herbal Essences Shampoo, only $5.97 each. And this Crest Pro Health Rinse, just $3.97. Find more than 15,000 Rollbacks in-store and online during Rollback Madness, only at Walmart.
We knew we had to see Universal Studios Hollywood when we got to LA, but we had no idea it was going to be like this. In my own LA story. Visit discoverlosangeles.com and start planning your own LA story. your savings during rollback madness at walmart save fifty dollars on this proform treadmill avia women's sneakers just eighteen dollars and this everlast heavy bag kit is only forty nine dollars find more than fifteen thousand rollbacks in store and online during rollback madness only at walmart 
Offering up flavor like this at a price like this can only be called one thing. Bold. Bold flavors, bold price. Including our Cajun dusted shrimp or the bourbon black pepper sirloin, just $12.99. Tonight at Longhorn Steakhouse. You can't fake steak. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star. Let me know you are flying up and above. Wish on a star. Time to show them who's in charge. Call me a shooting star. I'm moving. 
She went and got them breast implants I said I'm moving too fast Didn't even get a glance I'm ready to eat up track Like I'm seated in a restaurant If you had swag like mine You know it's best to flaunt We are Hating because you want Shining like it's neon Rock like kings of neon Shooting stars across the galaxy I stand out so don't be mad at me Infiltrate to Walmart for store-wide savings during Rollback Madness. Love's diapers, just $30. This Timex women's watch is just $32.98. And Heinz ketchup, just $3.50. Find more than 15,000 Rollbacks in-store and online during Rollback Madness only at Walmart. You said that you loved her Cause that's why she wanted to hear what you knew It wouldn't last for long Not long enough at all You said, you said there's so much more You said, you said there's so much more
There it was, more beautiful than I imagined. Living my own LA story. Van Gogh and LA. Visit discoverlosangeles.com and start planning your own LA story.
Hurry into Walmart for store-wide savings during Rollback Madness. Just $9.98 for Keurig Donut Shop Coffee. Hot Pockets are just $9.98. And the Even Flow Travel System is only $139. Find more than 15,000 rollbacks in-store and online during Rollback Madness only at Walmart. Clean up on savings during Walmart's Rollback Madness. Like this.
yo yo guys, welcome back. It is the Optic LAN SB versus Optic Gaming. The guys had a little bit of a break and they have decided to come back and try and play some more video games. Domination Octane is going to be the first one that you are going to see. And they're even louder than they were before. Didn't think that was going to be possible, but they are. So this may be a very distracting cast. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, SB, they're uh, currently 5-2 up in the overall series. What the guys decided they want to do now was actually just play another best of seven respawn only. They don't want to play Search and Destroy on stream. Um, and they didn't want to have like massive stream downtime. That didn't really make much sense. So they decided just to go back to respawn game types. Everyone that's asking about the song, I've said it a million times. It's on my recent tweets, if you go to me and you look at pictures, you can scroll across. And there will be, <coughs> excuse me, pictures and videos. You can see the videos that I posted. One of them is, of course, the stream playlist. But that is neither here nor there. That is neither here nor there. You have sound. You should all have sound. There should be a little bit of a stream delay. But anyway, anyway, yes. Optic versus SB. Ooh, free cam for the win. Oh, Saints got to take that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna free cam just for a little bit, just because I want to practice it for quad champs. So forgive me. Nature. Defending B, like a champ. Oh yeah, you know you like that angle. Ah uh, yeah. See Scumpy get a kill over that side of the map. Made shot. Still. Oh, here's a kill on space. Guys, I'm curious to know. All right, so let me know in the chat if you guys enjoy the occasional free cam. You know, just just for like cool little spots. If you enjoy the occasional free cam, or let me know if you don't. I'm curious from a viewer's perspective. Uh, simply because I may try doing it at champs. If people, if people think it adds to, you know, adds to maybe the viewing experience every every little bit. Obviously not all the goddamn time. That would be terrible. But you know, just maybe a little bit. That could be kind of cool. Let me know if you think, if you agree, or if you disagree. You can put it in the chat. You don't have to really bother tweeting at me. But for now, this domination octane. It's going to be two minutes forty left at the first side. It's Thirty-seven to twenty-seven in favor of the boys in green. Glaster, he's on your screen. He's ten and five right now. Looking for his 11th kill. Turns! Oh! Nearly met Saints. But not going to happen. Optic have lost that beef like though, so SB starting to mount a little bit of a comeback. The problem is they're actually dangerously close to losing the A flag. The A flag has been neutralized. Who actually is that? Pretty sure that was, in fact, Senor Saints causing some issues. But Optic should get their home flag back, but that trip cap, again, damage has been done. Dido, on your screen. Looking up top. Um, just, you know, waiting around. I'm, I'm reading the chat. Ah, okay. I don't like it. SMD only. Uh, it's cool to see it. But I hate Oracle mode. No, we do not like free cam. No, do regular free cam before the break is good, during is bad, cam is so dope. So just like a general mix of opinions then, that's interesting. I I've always just been curious to see what like the, the big majority of viewers actually think when it comes down to, to free cam. I don't know, it's just something I've always been interested in, whether people enjoy it or whether they don't. But, back in this game, SB uh, managed to generate themselves another lead, continuing off where they <coughs> excuse me, left off. From that first series. I'm just going to continue to score at the top of the screen just because it's easier that way. And we can sort of see collectively over the day how everyone's been playing. Scump 17 for 8. Playing like a beast. Last 45 seconds out. Optic need to just spring back into life. Bose, he's going to get taken down. Placed it. He try and pick up a couple of kills. Well, Scump is going to get one. Changes with Apathy there. Nice play from Clay. He's going to find the second. Nature cleans him up. 30 seconds left. Sensor, he's going to go down on the B flag. Scump, can he try and defend him? No, he can't. Bows, not going to be able to make any majestic plays, I don't think, with the time remaining. It looks like he's going to end around about a 21 point lead in favor of Strictly Business. They played very well. It's currently at 20. So 21 will be the score at the half. Or it may just tick over, actually. I'm, I'm going to assume it's 21. Just because, yep, 21 it is. 
Good game for Strictly Business. As I said, continuing where they left off. Um... Free cam is the dumbest thing ever. It's like watching Halo events from 2004. Hmm. Alright, well, thank you for your opinions. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will not do it as much as I was going to do. I was going to just plan on on using it a little bit. Um, I seem bored. No, I'm not, I'm not bored at all. I just... There's, there's one thing... I really wanted to see Search and Destroy. I like testing Search and Destroy a lot. But players don't want to play it, which is understandable. Understandable. Um, and I'm, I'm a bit worried that maybe I might lose my voice. So I'm kind of just, just mellow. Just having a chilled out time until someone hits something ridiculous. And I, I want to interact with you guys. Interact with the, the guys watching the stream. That's always an important part of a live stream. I think sometimes people forget about it sometimes. Whereas I'm a, I'm a big fan. Big fan, big fan. Of interacting with everyone watching. Watching at home. Uh, what sensitivity is Scum playing on? I have absolutely no idea. Red Bull t-shirt giveaway? I wish. I really want one. Have I ever done any DJing? No, I would like to, though. Um, let me have a look. Any other tweets? Uh, I'm not going to reset the map count. Someone tweeted me saying I should. Um, anything else? Nope. Nothing, no real questions. But if you do have any questions, do let me know. And I will try and answer as many as possible. Back to spectator mode. Alright, so I'm just going to fly around. You guys said, you guys said it. You said I can fly around at the start. Free cam! Someone is making bird noises. It's the boys in green. Oh, ah, yee, it's Clayster, Scumpy, Nate Shot, and oh, no, Bows, no, no, Mr. Rambos, come back, Mr. Rambos, Quabam! you know that was sexy, you know that was a good cinematic shot, yeah, you do, don't even try and lie, don't even try and lie, oh, but Bows let me down, he died, first blood optic going down everywhere, pretty much, 21 points is the differential, um, Let's have a look. Everyone actually <coughs> being taken down early on. Scott could have three kills. Didn't get one though. Dido coming out clutch. And let's have a look at the viewpoint of Strictly Business. They are the team currently in the lead. See if they can try and build upon it. They've had a good start. They have A and B under their control. Dido, four point street to start things off. Can he continue? Yes, he can. Dido, fantastic accuracy. Has run out of ammo though. Tad inconvenient. Just a tad. And I think he's going to try and go for the knife here. Let me... Oh. 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 Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, Dido. Go for the knife. Go for it. Go for it. Dido, go for it. Come on, Dido. Go for the knife. Dido, do something. God damn it, Dido. He was playing very, very passively there, but... B is being taken away from them. He's going to see him, and there's absolutely nothing he can do in this situation. He's going to have to be a, a human UAV. Gets the knife in the end, and finally gets taken out. That was quite comical. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, they shot. What can he do? He's gone down. Compete. And he try and pick up a couple of kills. There's Dido. bosie has gone down as well. Nate shot. Back on your screen. He's not going to be able to pick up anything either, so... Right now, SB really just slaying very, very well. Clay needs to have one of those magical moments that we know Clayster can have where he sparks into life and just really becomes a powerhouse. You see Optic have rotated to A. Nice play, picking up one. Can he find the second? Maybe he's roughly around there, but no. That's going to leave Bows in a spot of trouble. He's not going to be able to do anything. That flag will go back to SB. But they were able to capitalize on that B fight thanks to Senor Nature, who actually just got a, a nice little two piece of the kill feed there. Now, Optic, as we go, <coughs> excuse me, it's the last two and a half minutes. Finds him out, somewhat of a comeback. Scumpy picks up one. Looking for someone else. And he's pushed very far towards this A flag. Could actually just go straight for the cap here if he's feeling a little bit ambitious. Being very passive though. B flag is currently under contestion though. 
It's going to come down to a one player from Optic Gaming. And it's going to be Bows. Managed to just defend it with that two piece. So Scump, he's going to go down. Back onto Bows. He's on B. He's going to grab that flag. However, the trade has come off. SB grabbing the A flag. Now a nine point differential. They need to reduce it. It was 21 point at the half. Oh, Bo's not going to pick up that one. Scump, he's going to go down as well. So that's going to leave Clay in a position where he has to go big. He's gone down as well. SB going to grab the B flag straight back and try once again to build upon that lead. It was 21 points at the half with a minute and a half left. It's looking very good. Another eight point lead. So overall 29 points in favor of Strictly Business on the first Domination Octane. Play is going down everywhere. Apathy on your screen. Trying to charge out with an Emtire. That's ambitious. Does pay the price for that. Saints 11 and 6. 12 and 6. 13 and 6. Saints turning up towards the end of this game. He was making some very weird noise as well to, to celebrate that nice little uh, quick succession of kills. Can he try and find anyone else? Looking through the smoke. Hasn't seen anyone just yet. Saints just being extremely aggressive. Is he going to pay the price for it? Yes, he is. Dido, last man standing for SB. He's down as well. Now Optic. Can they somehow capitalize on this? Bose has been sent to A. That was a call out from Clay. But SB, straight off the spawn. They're going to recap that B flag. Optic pretty much back to square. One now. Bose is on the A flag. Halfway through. Gets it. and Doesn't even neutralize it. Actually, I thought for a minute he did. Clay is going down everywhere. For the Optic gaming lineup. 30 seconds left. This has gone to SB. And I think... Should I should I reset the score? I think I probably should reset the score. That's gonna be 1-0 to strict the business. Set it. So, strictly business taking the first domination game. Quite convincingly. As Clayster. Chilling. Just shooting some B-ball. See Saints. Is he gonna get the kill? Oh, he's not even playing. Plays 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 tweeting. He tweeting. Play tweeting. God damn. Well, good stuff. Coming in from Sydney Business in the first game. Gonna go to a quick commercial break. <coughs> Excuse me. Whilst I can cough and apparently lose my voice. Grab another Red Bull, most probably. But we'll be right back after this break. Do tweet out the stream, guys. Be back any second.
What's going on guys? We are back. I was just messing around trying to make some cool cinematics. It's Blitz. It's Freight. This has been a game type which has been so hotly contested between these two teams all throughout the week here at Optic Land. And it's going to be Senor Bose. There's the money B. Kicking things off quite nicely. He's 1-0 to start things off. If you remember last series though, it was SB who made a sensational comeback. It really was a great comeback. Late shot's going to make it 2-0. Quick succession. I think last series it was a five-point lead that the Optic went into at the half. Before um, a little bit of an error and some good SB plays. SB managed to get one cap though. Sensor now on defense. Is he going to be able to find anybody? Well, we see him up top. Nicely done from Sensor. Firing as many corners as possible, but oh, hello, Scumpy being sneaky. Oh, only managed to find the second though. They chop meanwhile, pushing straight through the middle, turns to the right. Here he turned on him. Bose gets his first and his second kill. Nice, Bose. Now pushing towards the Blitz portal. There's the player there for SB. It's gonna be Dido. He's gonna sneak by. Sensor. No one really checking for Bose. See Oracle mode. Two players heading to roughly towards him. That's three players. He's going to have a two-piece potentially. But Saints just turned around the corner and killed him instantly. But Scump has heated up. He's eight and three. To start things off. As another cap goes down. This time it was for Nate Shot again. Currently three for three with those two caps. Is he going to push towards red? The problem is Optic don't really have anyone towards that right-hand side of the map. Three go down and Nate Shot now. Left in a bit of a pickle where he has to kind of overextend. Apathy's going to kill him though. And now Scump, as he rotates back towards his flag, sees one up top. That's going to be Dido. Dido's going to get the pick. Now Clayson needs to do defensive duty. Embos, he's going to be one of the last players for Optic and SB. Well, the relay is very real. I have no idea really why people aren't rotating back through Lumber there. Getting some very weird spawns though. I mean, you can see where Scumpy has some spawns. So that's definitely going to be a factor. And Scump's kind of trapped. And just SB spawn trapping the hell out of Optic right now. Making it very, very tough for them to do anything. They've managed to get another cap as well. So that's five to, <laughs> excuse me, five to three. As Bose is going to finally pick up Sensor. And Optic apply the pressure straight back. Hey, Chuck. He's doing defensive work. Didn't find anyone, though. Player to his right. Not going to happen. Bose. On your screen again. He's going to be pushed. Picks up the kill. Nicely done. Now, can they turn it around? Three players go down. Dido, for a few seconds, was the only one alive. Oh, here we go. Bose, there's one. Looks towards the right-hand side. Teammate to the left. Turns! Oh, hello, Sensor, says Embos. Third as well! Oh, Bose heating up. Shuts down Dido. Can't get the cap, though. Few, <coughs> excuse me, millimeters away. Scum actually has someone behind him. Turns, gives away his position. Now needs to be careful. Gets the knife. Good stuff from Scumpy. Really heating up. This is what his team needs. 12 and 8 from him. It's a 6 to 5 disadvantage in favor of Optic Gaming. But Scump is on form. That's going to be a cap for him. Has a teammate ready to relay. One is going to be Clay. One is going to be Bose. Bose is actually stunning Clay there by accident, I believe. Three seconds left. Now it's going to come down to whether Clay can try and make the play. There's one kill. Can he find the second Clay start? Oh! Dido and Sensor. You cannot hang when it comes against Clayster. Even he was letting them know they cannot hang. Fantastic stuff. Oh, Bose actually has someone. Actually, around the outside, he gets a kill just on the portal. But SB cranking up the heat now. Saints, he's in this famous position right at the very back. This back lumber, he's going to slay from here. There's one. Free fires, tries to find a second. Not going to happen. Dido, he's up top. Is he in a position to get the cap? Jumps down, caps, and kills Clay. 30 seconds remaining. We've got a tied game. 7-7. Seven, seven. Scump top ranking for Optic Gaming. 13 and 11. Apathy, 14 and 9. Scump's going to shut the door. Should be all dandy for now if they can shut down Saints, which they have done. Need to be careful of that one player overextending through red. It was Sensor. Nice play from Scump. Now, is Scump actually going to push? No. Very defensive. Just flanks back, shuts the door. 13 seconds, Scump could actually go for a cap here. He sees one in the middle. SB gonna get the cap though. As Sensor, he's gonna get ready for the relay. Optic reply, I don't think. 
climb it there. There's not going to be enough time. So that is going to be 8-8 eight, eight at the half. With some fantastic, fantastic plays coming from both these two teams. As Nachok shuts down sensor at the half. So it's going to be tied up. Eight apiece. Apparently, uh, Doug has slow reaction time. That's sensor for any of you that don't know. Best team would be Mochilla, Saints, DP, and Crimson. Apparently, someone says in the chat. Interesting. 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 Well, we're going to kick things off on board with Senor Sensor. Well, no, we're not. He's dead. Apathy. There's one. There's two. Nicely done. Can he find the third? Nope. Not this time. Anyone off respawn in a good position for either of these two teams? Doesn't. Oh, actually, hold on. There is one person. No. Never mind. How about this person? Clay. How has he even done that? That is just ridiculous. Clayster is really starting to heat up to the next level. 16 and 12. Scump as well, 15 and 13. And this is what makes Optics such a scary lineup. These two players, when they start slaying and they start getting in sync and in tune with each other, they can become lethal. Clayster with another two kills in quick succession. Oh, hello. That's what happens when you don't check your corner sensor. Clayster should be able to just run this one in. No, Apathy. Huge defensive clutch. And now down to Scump. Can he try and match his duo slaying abilities? He's picked up one. Looking over towards the left-hand side. There's a second. Didn't expect someone to be at the B-Domo area there. Now Nature needs to go big defensively with that vector. That's one kill. Clayster straight off spawn. 20 kills for him. Apathy, 20 kills with his name on it. Turns! Oh, Clayster! He just annihilated Apathy. He was millimeters away from that blitz portal. And Clayster shut him down. And I'm curious to see how happy he is going to play it off spawn. Going to highlight him on the minimap. Yellow arrow. Well, he's actually gone down. So Clayster's going to try and continue the slaying. Rampage still a tied game. With a minute and a half gone. No one able to capture a blitz cap yet. Clayster still waiting. Just trying to get the angles. And not really having much luck. Play to the right hand side. That's that fantastic actually coming in. He shuts down Dido. Looking for the second. Two plays go down. Now, are we going to see Clays to push? Or is he going to continuously try and slay? Oh, my goodness gracious. 25 kills for Clay. Scump. He's going to be the play to watch right now. He's trying to go for a, a sneaky little flanker route. Got himself back lumber. Oh, he's seen both players here. Miss the shots. And he's going to pay the price for that. Clays goes down as well. Nade shot. And Bose going to be left last up. Bose is dead. Now it's Nade shot. Last man standing as his teammates come off spawn. Optic putting on all the pressure though. This is good for them. Scump picks up another two piece. They shot pre firing and it doesn't manage to pick up that kill. Clayster doesn't manage to pick up the kill either. So Bose now needs to go big defensively. There's one kill. Needs to hold this mid map control. Can't lose it. Tried cooking the nade. He goes down as well. Scump now in his own base. There's one. He's actually run straight past the second. He's going to know he's there now. Turns. Where has he gone though? Scump desperately trying to find him. Sensor picks him up. Bose knows he's there. Scump has pulled it out, and there's the kill. Nicely done, and that's going to relieve some pressure from the Optic base. Let's have a look at it from the perspective of SB now. Saints, on your screen. 16 and 8. Picks up one, picks up. Not the second. Really could have done, though. Could have done with it. Sensor, he's rotated all the way around the outside. So this could actually be a cap for SB. The first cap of the game. Second side, it is. Now, how can Optic reply? You've got Clayster pushing him from the front door. There's one. As a teammate in support, is he going to be able to decide in? Yes, he is. 9-9. Nine, nine, tied game. However, there is still one player that... Nate shot, you absolute animal. That was unreal. So sneaky. I... There's just no words. There's just, there's just no words for that. Absolutely no words. Unbelievable. Someone better meme that because that was freaking sensational. Gif it at least. Clayster defensively trying to keep Optic in the lead. We're going into the last 60 seconds. 11 to 10. The current scores on the board. How can Optic Gaming try and keep this going? 50 seconds left. Sensor has to play defensively. Oh, but look at this. Apathy. The sneaky ninja himself. 25 19, two caps. It's open. It's open if he wants it. He does want it. Now Optic, they need to reply. Can they do so? It's tied. 11-11. Scumpy pushing that left-hand side. 
has one gunfight. Luckily, he has some teammates in support, though. This could be good for the green wall, but the cap comes in for SB. Now it's going to be needs to go bigger than he ever has. 26 seconds. Couple of players around there. Now it's down to nature all by himself. <coughs> Excuse me, 22 seconds left. <coughs> Optic need to defend, but they need to push at the same time. This is going to be very tricky. 15 seconds left. You can't sit in your base. You need to push, especially when you're a cap down. Scum's dead. Bows. The only player now, if he wins that, which he doesn't, four players go down and SB are going to pick up another cap and win by two. Fantastic plays from them. Some great plays all round, especially that Nick play from Nature where he didn't shoot the body. He just stood there and watched. But guys, we're going to throw to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back after this. What's going on guys? Welcome back. You may be sat there thinking, hey, hold on a minute. Didn't didn't the guys just play this map? Why why have we just seen it? It should be a domination or, or something. Well, this is why I thrived that break, so I can find out exactly why. So basically what happened was, um the teams obviously they're here to practice, right? That that's the whole reason of this optic lab. So they wanna re redo the map. They wanna try something a little little bit different, you know, just see if they can change their tracks up. Somewhat, I think Clayston wants to try and do it, maybe a different role. I think is what, what I kind of heard from them. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's pretty much what, what I think. Um, a lot of people have asked me to tweet the, the playlist again. So, give me one second, that's what I'm going to do right now. Because so many people have asked it. So I'm just going to do that. You can see the perspective of play. Why not? Play's pretty good for a G player, apparently. Who knew? Give me a second to find it. Won't get very loud. Um, it is. Where is it? This one. All right, so let me grab the link. All right, so I'm tweeting out the playlist right now. Playlist from the optic one game. Those. Sweet. 
Alright, so that's that done. Any of you guys that have been enjoying the tunes, check it out. Right now, what have we got? We have SB6-2 in the lead. And I think they had the overlays the wrong way around. But, <coughs> excuse me, the teams are, are doing the, the other way. Um, there is no way of doing a listening for everyone that's, that's wondering, simply because of the fact that the players aren't using the fight at all, if they use the laser chain to take them plan. So, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, anyway. Anywho, 6-3 in favor of SB. Dido, Jesus Christ, man. 12 and 4. Two caps to his name. Another cap comes in. Enemy capping that one, so that's going to be Bows with those two caps. It's a two cap game. Last two minutes. Are they going to be able to try and get another cap? I'm looking at Scumpy. Tries to go through. That's not going to happen. Bows towards the right hand side. Oh, you know, he's gone down. Made shot. Nope, not going to happen. <clears throat> Kalista, though. After a couple of kills, that's four down now. Can they really push? Dido straight off spawn. Running straight into his own blitz. Very defensive. That's what you like to see. A couple of players shut him down. Athlete's going to pick up one. Dido. Let's have a look from his defensive perspective. He's going to have a player inside fire. He goes down. One play for Optic Gaming. Who is this? It's Mr. Bose. Now, I like this play from Bose. Just needs to take his time. We'll have a play directly behind him. He wasn't to note. He goes down. Dido still up frame for strictly business. As SBR. No! Denied! Scump managed to pick up a huge defensive kill there. Saints with one. Can he now try and build upon it? Last 60 seconds. This is always where stuff gets crazy. For those wondering what my Twitter account is, it's at Benson underscore EU. That's where you'll be able to find it. The playlist. Saints. Looking towards the right hand side. He picks that up. It's going to be good. But good defensive plays coming in from the Scumpster. Dido. He's going to cap that though. So three caps differential. And they still have apathy ready and waiting. Got to admire it. Oh, one, two. Can he get a third? No. Would have been one of the plays of the day. Dido's going to slide it in though. And that's going to be a four point lead. And SB are all up in Optics business in their spawn. Saints with one. Doesn't even need to find the second. Two seconds before he gets another one. Five cap lead now. This is getting a little bit out of control towards the end. But fantastic stuff from SB. Six cap lead. Saints, he's going to try and pick up another couple of kills towards the end. Doesn't matter though. Dido ended the first side with 20 kills. 20 and 7. Five caps as well. So Dido really doing it all. Some fantastic stuff coming out from him. Let me see if anyone has asked any questions. Um, oh, someone asked, what do you think the difference between the EU and US players are? Um, that's a good question. I don't really think that there's, a, there's a massive difference. I think it's more the difference lies within the teams as opposed to the players, like the way the teams played as opposed to anything else. Dido, he's gone down. Let's have a look, see if Optic can try and mount a comeback. Backs are against the wall in this series. Or I should say in this blitz. Have a big deficit, but that's a good way to start. Now they've just already managed to reduce it to five. Bose, player that got the cap. He's gone down. Nate shot now. Can he go big defensively? He's going to have lots of SP players rushing towards him. Jumps out towards the front door. Gets the kill. Shuts the front door as well. Big stuff coming from him. You got Sensor just waiting outside there to the right hand side. Can Nachot pick up Sensor? He's trying to figure out where he is. Sensor goes down anyway, so that doesn't matter. Now Nachot can really start thinking about pushing up. Looks towards the mid map. Doesn't connect at all there. Some unfortunate shots. Still with Nade though. Trying to see if he can make one of those Nachot esque plays, those sneaky plays. He's pre firing the back door. I'm not entirely sure why there is nobody there. There is going to be a player up top, however. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. Good defensive play. One player trying to come up from behind, but not really pushing out of the base. And that's something that Optic are desperately going to need to do. Scump, he's going to be the player that's going to try and do it. 17 for 18. Can he try and slay his way towards the SB base? Right now, Scump still on your screen. Nature's picked up a three-piece. Scump gets the fourth. This should be 100% a cap. Nade with a big, big play. 
Picking up the third. 17 for 17. Now Bo's on your screen. He's trying to get himself into a position to try and reduce the deficit. It's at four. We see Bo's do this quite often. Sometimes he doesn't go for the cap when he could do. Going to be a play just to your left, Bose. Nicely done. Sliding in. Deficit's at three. Optic on the comeback train right now. But um, they have to try and defend their base. I don't think there's anyone bar Clayster. It comes down to this gunfight. Clayster knee slides around the corner. Picks up the kill. Nade's going to get one as well. So that's going to leave Dido. He goes down. Nade shot picking up more and more kills. He is really coming into his element towards the end of the game. Tries to jump around the corner. Not going to happen. Skump though. He's found himself in a perfect little position to cause some damage on the SP side of things. Oh, oh, I'll see you. Just going to run straight behind you. Good stuff. The deficit now at two. The comeback is on for Optic Gaming. <coughs> Excuse me. Nate shot jumping around the corner. There's another kill. He is catching fire towards the end of this game. 22 top fragging for Optic. But can they try and get those two more caps? Still plenty of time. Two minutes, 15 seconds. But SB have just snuck one in. That was Apathy. Some good objective work coming in from him. Meanwhile, Bose, mid-map, there's one. Looks towards the left-hand side. He's got to look towards the right. There's two Bose with a big two-piece. Nate shots picked up one. The last play is there. Bose with the three-piece. Huge stuff coming from him. He's throwing the nade as well, but arguably just taking a little bit too long. Gets the knee slide, though. Deficit back at two. Bose with some huge plays coming out right there. Scump. he's on your screen now. Sees the play to his left-hand side. More looking towards the portal. Oh, just absolutely took... A poop on Apathy's face. Three players go down. Bose with another two-piece. Scump now looking for the last player. He's to his left hand side. Gets the kill. Can Scumpy just defend? Yes, he can. Good stuff. Optic reduce the deficit to one. One minute 30 left. Scump with a play down in front of him. Does he get the kill? No. Apathy with a big defensive play. But there's still Optic aggression. I think it's Bose who's running around causing all sorts of issues. Only has six shots left though. This is to tie the game. There's one. Runs out of ammo at the most inconvenient time, though. He needs his support from his teammate. Clayce is the one with the ammo. Bose trying to just cause an issue. Clayce is going to level the game. 11-11. One minute left. The comeback is so real right now. However, SP have one player. Back lumber. Clayster turns the corner. Apathy has just destroyed Clayster. Nature needs to go big. He's lying on the portal. Picks up the kill. Nicely done. Last minute of gameplay. And there's one player from SB right at the very front. Nate Shot's going to pick up that kill. He is on fire. About to drop 30 if he carries on. 27 kills to his name. And Optic have taken the lead. 12 to 7. Unbelievable turn of events. They were down heavily. And they are coming back in the series. However, Bose is going to be last man. Sees two. He goes down. Four down. Can Scumpy somehow get to the portal in time? No, he goes down as well. Scump's down. Clayster and Nate Shot the last two. It's 12-12. This is a very high risk play. They have abandoned their base. It's open. It's 13-12. If they do not cap this, not going back to their flag will haunt them or their portal will haunt them. But that's a cap. Now, Nate shot. 13 seconds left. Sees the kill in the back. Doesn't connect with it. Bose, where are you? Not in a position to cap it. Is Kleister anywhere near? No, he's not. But there's one SP player underneath Kleister. Oh, he didn't get it. Three seconds left. SP have snuck it. Unbelievable game of blitz. Arctic did it so well to come back in. Dino dropping 33 kills. Unreal play from him. And Sensor in the final kill, shutting down Nature. Absolutely unreal game. So, so tense. One point. That was all that was in it. Whew. If that isn't worth a tweet, quite simply, I do not know what is. If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I'd devour, I'd surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun.
If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I'd devour, I'd surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun. Awkward. What's going on guys? There we go. Unmute the mic. Domination Sovereign is underway. So we're going to dive straight into the action. Just missed one minute, sadly, because I couldn't join the game. I disconnected halfway through joining. So my bad. My bad. Um, for everyone asking again, I literally just tweeted out the playlist. I think it's like my last tweet. So if you are curious as to it, go, go check it out. It's one of my favorites. I uh, love listening to that. It's one of my morning beats as well. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool music. I need to actually just refresh this page real fast. And I choked. I'm a choke, choke player, guys. I just choked real hard. I have to just quickly log in as something real fast. So I'm just going to leave you with the perspective of nature for a second. Make sure you Yeah. All right. Let me do this. That last game with Blitz, though, right? Could that have been any more intense? Right towards the end, SB's taking it away after an unreal comeback, it really was. Great effort. Let me try and find this email so I can log in. What's the score right now? It's what? 35 to 29 in favor of Optic, so they are in the lead. As I just try and not fail at logging in, that would probably be uh, pretty useful, right? Not failing is always fun. Significantly better than failing. There we go. That's that logged in now. I just realized that's still playing. Okie dokie. Let me pause that. Do that. It's pretty It's pretty interesting doing all the production side of things as well. Um, something that I've never really had to do. So being able to like produce the stream and, and like play some cool music for you guys. Mix everything up. It's been a pretty cool experience. That's why I've enjoyed Optic Lang like a lot. But as well as you know being able to chill out with everyone. A couple of days before everyone heads over to LA. Which is going to be awesome by the way. You guys better get ready for Optic and SB watching both those two teams at Call of Duty Championship. It's going to be insane. It really is. It's going to be one of the best events. As looking at the game though, Optic 50 points on the board. 45 for SB. So Fragile Lee, Clayster trying to get the pistol kill. Not going to happen. Nature, meanwhile, well, can he try and make any magical plays? Any magical plays? Let me bring up that. Alright, sweet. So we are all good to go as soon as I log out of here. Sweet. Alright. <clears throat> so, non-stop action. Let's have a look. Who should we spectate? Well, Nature's 10 and 6. He's really coming into life, but Apathy again. <laughs> He's just been so good. He really has. This Optic Land bringing out the best of Apathy. A lot of people were, you know, they didn't really know who Apathy was. But he is coming out with a vengeance. He really is. Sensational player. 15 and 5, two caps as well. Can do it all. Great in SD as well. That's one of the, the big things for me. One of the best SD players around. In my honest opinion. Sensor, he's on the A flag. He's just going to watch from afar. Try and give some cover. Last minute now. 69 to 58. Still in favor of the boys in green. Can they try to keep the lead? That's going to be the question. Bows with one. Trying to find the second though. Assist comes in. B flag is under contestion. And that's going to be Scump, who goes down at the B-Flag. Bose, whereabouts are you? He needs to just slide in and try and... Oh, he needs to help his teammate take it, actually. But SB going for the trip cap right at the very end. They are going to go into the second side with the lead because of that. So good up to... Holy balls, 19 and 6? When did that happen? Apathy, you beast. 
You god! The man! The myth! The legend! Absolute unreal performances, as I said. Just as I was saying how well he's been playing. That's how well he's been playing. Jumps in. He's going to get taken out, though. Can Saints cap the B flag? Doesn't look like it. So it's going to end with a five-point differential. It's going to be SB going into the second side with that five-point lead. And I just, I actually just heard Scumpy say we always choke our leads. We always have it and then throw it away. Interesting. Interesting. Let me know what you guys think about that. Is that true? Or not? Anyway, well, I'm not going to throw to a commercial because that's poop. So I'm going to read Twitter and see what you guys are saying. Uh-huh. boom ba -dum. Um, what place will TCM and Epsilon get in champs? I would say maybe top eight. I would expect both those two teams to finish top eight. Um. Do, do, do. Uh, they're just going to be playing Respawn. That's MLG Merkin who wants to know. Uh, this series is just all going to be about Respawn again. The guys just wanted to really, really get it. Can I get Flamesword or Big T? They are actually out right now. I don't know where they are. I think they still may actually be at the gym. The grind is real, guys. The grind is real. Do, 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 do. do I ever think an NA EU super team will happen? That's from So Rook. Um, I don't think so. I think connection issues were played too much of a part, unless you know a team house was involved, in which case it could happen. It, it, I've heard talks of potentially happening, so who knows? Uh, everyone seems to love that playlist. <laughs> um, have I taken a dump in Nade's pillowcase yet from Jeff Biggie? No, no, I haven't. Um, will I be intending to do that? Probably not. <laughs> Are the two teams getting along? Any arguments? No, everyone's getting along really, really fine, actually. Um, everyone's having a good time. They're you know, just talking about different strats that each team use and you know different strats other teams use as well, which is really interesting. Uh, EU Stomp says, I bet you're bad at FIFA. Well, I'm actually really not. I'm the best player in this house right now at FIFA. So, top three champs? Don't know. That's all going to come down to bracket. A lot of people... I'm just going to take probably like the first minute of this just to explain the way that champs works. So, obviously everyone knows it's pool play by now. All the teams are in different groups. The top two from those groups go through. Now, the first place team from each group is going to be given a completely random seed from one to eight. The second place seed... Oh, sorry. The second place team from each group is going to be given a random seed from nine to 16. Now, what that means is when they get put into the bracket, it's going to be completely random. It's going to be pulled out of a hat. So, number, number like three is going to go up against number 10. Those teams could be absolutely anyone. So predictions for champs are completely... You, you can't do it. Like, because you don't know how the bracket's going to turn out. If you ask that question at Saturday at 1 p.m., I think everyone, every caster should be able to give you some or their prediction. Because they'll be going to be able to know how the bracket is. Because I think that's the time pool play should be done. Um, all the pool play games should be over. And we should be able to see how the bracket's going to work as well. So the bracket will be drawn. I'm pretty sure that was the time. I may be wrong, but... If you ask sometime at Saturday afternoon, people will be able to give you a proper prediction. Obviously, there's certain teams which everyone expects to be in the top three, but until you see the bracket, honest to God, who knows? So, all you can say is, who's going to win in the group games? And they're the games which are going to be intense. Obviously, Optic play Epsilon, European powerhouse. Who's going to win that game? Honest to God, it's going to be it's going to be insane. The way that SB are playing right now, and the way that Optic are kind of back and forth, that... The Optic Epsilon game is going to be insane. That is 110% for sure. Uh, so in terms of the gameplay, it was a five-point lead, I believe, in favor of SB. I'm pretty sure that's what I wrote down. I may be wrong, in which case I apologize. But it has been a very long day. And I believe SB, they're actually in the lead as... D oh, my Dido. Nine and three. I, I just want to give Dido some, some camera time because... <clears throat> I feel like he has a sensational game. We didn't really catch many of his kills. So, we'll wait for him. After the, <coughs> excuse me. Five and five. He goes down. Can Dido somehow 
Try and get a couple more kills. There's one. <clears throat> pre fight his teammate there. SP do have control of B and A, but Dido, the man on a mission right now, 11 and 4, two caps to his name as well. Just glance at the chat, saw someone ask, when is the next MLG? It's going to be Anaheim, I believe. Well, actually, PAX, then Anaheim. PAX East will be the next one. Oh, I just missed a kill from Saints. My apologies, Saints. Someone from Optic is on the A flag. Who is that? It's going to be Clay. Now, if Clay jumps up, he's going to have that kill. He knows the position. Jumps. No, doesn't even need to. Scumpy to the rescue. So that's going to be A and C under control of Optic Gaming. Can Clay pick up the kill? Yes, he can. That was on Saints, but did get traded. Scump, meanwhile, 7 and 11. It's a 2 to 1 flag cap lead still in favor of Optics. They are reducing that lead. 1 minute 44, so still plenty of time for it to potentially win it. But you really need to now look at Clayster to push this B flag. Someone from SB has dropped back towards A. Now Optic, this is the time. They need to pounce on that B flag. Who is in a position to do something? It's going to be Scump. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to have to be him. He has bows. Trying to pinch that B-Flag. Can he get the kill? Oh, Scumpy. Yes, he can. He's by himself, though. Has it neutral? It's contested. Nature, is he in a position to try and challenge? Yes, he is. Flag is neutralized. Bose, where is he spawned? Kobe. Not going to happen. Trip systems were deployed. And that flag is going to go back to SB. But that was a good effort from Optic. But they just weren't able to do it. Let's have a look. Anyone from Optic going off? Saints, 16 and 9. Apathy still 9 and 8. Apathy, not able to pick anything off just yet. Oh, never mind. Ran into a wild clay. Picked up a wild clay as well. That was nice. 74 to 52. Oh, missed another kill by accident. Switching player. It's all good. It's all good. 42 seconds. This is pretty much over. I mean, four players go down, actually. Four SB, but I, I, can't, I can't see it. Not going to happen at all. Optics come though, he is going to try and get on that B-Flag, looks on the ground, picks up Apathy, Apathy just went, what? In an extremely high-pitched voice after Scum just uh, gave him the business. Bose was looking at maybe pushing for the trip cap, but with 17 seconds left, that is going to be GG, and SB are going to be going 4-0 up in this series. Wow. They have played very, very well all throughout this week. And they are topping off on the final day in exquisite fashion. And I'm going to find out what the next Blitz game is going to be. So I'll be right back after this quick commercial break.
What's going on guys? We are back! Yeah! Optic Land SB versus Optic Gaming. Blitz on Warhawk! So, it's Blitz. I think everyone in the chat can, can know what's about to go down up in Blitz, okay? It's gonna be one of those where, yeah, you know, first three minutes of the game, it's just gonna be, hey, how you guys doing? It's chill. Then the last minute, it's gonna be like, oh my god, this is crazy! In a high-pitched, squealing voice. That's, uh, you never as a betting man, that's what I bet on. But, I'm gonna start things on board with Mr. Embers. He's gonna get taken down, he was very far pushed. Well being shut down. A lot of people are asking for Oracle mode on in respawn, so I will put that on. That's the minimap, not Oracle. Epic fail. Nature was starting 4 0. Ooh, hello. Let's have a look, see if the sneaky man himself. We've seen some sensational sneaks. Oh, that's not Nature, that's Nature. We've seen some sneaky, sneaky plays from him. You're out, Optic Land. And I'm curious to see if he can try and make another one, but speaking of sneaky plays. Sensor! Oh, he gets it just now. Can Nadeshot reply in tune? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Keep your eyes on the minimap. Top left. Mr. Bose. Money B. And he got the cap. Nice defense from Scump. Money B all the way around the outside. Picked up Dido. Slides it in. 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. Back in favor of SB as uh, Sensor runs that one home. Two caps to his name now. Last three minutes. Looking at potentially his teammate here to do some work. That's going to be Apathy. See if he can try and make those plays. But whilst that is going on, we have a certain nature who's going to try and be sneaky here. Sees one in the back. Freddy slide in. Yes, he can. 2-2. Two, two. Tied game. Good stuff coming from Nade. And what's even more impressive is... Oh, who is it? It's him. It's Bose. He's going to get the lead for Optic now. 3-2. There's actually another player there. It's going to be Scump. And if Scump can pick up this kill... Oh, no, 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 no. He looks away at the worst possible time. However, Nature, there's one. Thought he could have maybe picked up the second there. Not going to happen, though. As you can see, Embo's on your screen. He's going to rotate towards the right-hand side. Two players going to be in front of him. There's one. Only managed to tag the second. Looks to the left. Oh, get destroyed. Pre-fight bows. Very, very... Keen on this on, on, on pre firing, you'll see him do it all the time. Look, pre firing again there to make the point. Pre fires the corner, picks up the kill. One optic play. No, no, Scumpy, please don't do that to him. SB have just managed to get a cap. Scumpy, eight and seven, so he is starting to heat up. It's 3 3 though, tied game. Going into the last minute and a half. So now, let's have a look who's in a good position. So we have two people for optic. Nature and Bows trying to go around the flank. Oh, 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 hoo -hoo -hoo. Saints didn't see him. <clears throat> Nature trying to make the plays. Is he going to be able to get the cap? I'm thinking he is just going to knee slide it in. Does so. 4 3. Up to gaming. Last 67 seconds of gameplay now. One play from SB trying to push around the outside. He just picked up that kill. It's going to be apathy. So keep your eyes on the minimap. He goes down. Now SB are going to push and be aggressive. We see Optic just turtle a little bit. They need to be aggressive, especially Scump. He's got that left hand side of the map completely free at his own disposal. He's going to have one gunfight any second now. Is he going to win it? Yes, he is. It's Scumpy. Of course he is. Why even doubt the man? Now he's trying to juke out players. It's going to be a one-man mission. Essentially, Clayster, he's going to push up. See if he can try and get Ultic that extra one cap. That extra advantage going into the second side. Play to his right-hand side. He wasn't to see. One play from SB, though. It's Apathy. Clayster's calling Apathy out. I can hear him from here. Apathy looks to his right-hand side. Go! Oh, Bows with the drop shot. That's going to clean him up. One player. It's Nature. 19 seconds left. Looks towards the corner. There's always a player there. Didn't look. But meanwhile, SB, they also have a player trying to do the sneak. Who is it? It's going to be Sensor. I think he's going to be able to get it. Nine seconds left. Slides. No, denied. Right at the very end. Saints is there, though. One cap goes in. It's 4-4. Apathy needs to do the defensive work. And, oh, another extraordinary game of Blitz. First side ending 4-4. These games have just been so very close. Unreal plays from, from both these two teams. As... I'm just going to have a quick look at the Twitter sphere. Any good questions being asked? Um, doesn't look like anyone's asking any any questions right now. Back to the game. Tied 4-4. Blitz Warhawk. Optic currently 4-0 down in this new series. 
Are they going to be able to do it again? Dido! Oh, nope. Well, that's not going to happen. He got shut down. Let's have a look at Sensor. There's actually no Nate Shot pushing around the outside. Should have stayed with him. Can he get another kill? Yes, he can. Is there anyone else? One more Optic player. In the form of Scump. No, he's going to go down as well. There's still one more. You know, they've all gone down now. So, SB. Let's have a look how they slay their way out. Saints. Not going to happen. Apathy. Can he clean up? Oh, don't get killed by Clay. This is going to be extremely awkward. There we go. Well played from him. Looks to the right-hand side. There's going to be a player just waiting in the corner. Oh, Apathy, you should have gone to Spec Savers. Oh, my God. Are you serious? No way has that just happened. No way has that just happened. Now, I'm not sure whether... All right, well... I am saying Apathy is blind and Nature was trying to be sneaky. Either that or both those guys need to go to a spec uh, an opticians, get their eyes checked because that was that was crazy. Nature probably should have actually picked that kill up because that's actually given FB the lead. It's 5-4. I I really wow. That was I've never seen that. I would have loved to have seen that from Nature's perspective, but in those situations, I mean, it wasn't really a sneaky position. I I'm just going to say they they missed each other because Nature would have gone for that kill nine times out of ten, I'm pretty sure. Scump up top. He goes down. Now Optic just one point behind. Can Nature try and get the cap? Yes, he can. Levels it up. 5-5, five, five, however. This play right here. It's Sensor. There's one. Nope. Gonna get traded, though. Looking for someone from Optic to try and pull them away. Scump sees one in the corner. Slides! Good X. 6-5 Optic Gaming. Can they try and keep the lead though? That is the question. Bose, 22 and 14. This man is an animal. He really is. Looks towards the left-hand side. He's going to see someone in the distance with the MTAR. Doesn't connect with the kill though. A little bit shaky. Accuracy there. The assist comes in there. That's going to be good enough. Now Bose, can he sneak? He has done. This is going to give Optic a two-point lead. Good stuff from them. SP, how are they going to respond? Let's take a look at the perspective of Sensor. Two and a half minutes remaining. Sensor pushing this right-hand side towards the water tower. Clay says shut down Dido though. So this is a must-win gunfight for Apathy and Sensor. They both win them. Can he try and get some control of the Optic base? Ring around the Rosie for a second. Oh, hello, Clayster. How are you doing, my friend? Sensor. On a two-point streak for now. I think he just saw someone at the very back. He did. Doesn't really need to be challenging this. But he's going to go for it anyway. Doesn't manage to connect. Only the assist for him. One cap goes in. 7-6. Sensor looks behind him. Picks up the kill. That's three down. Again, four down, actually. Sensor could just relay this if he just hops on it. Can he get it in time? There's going to be two ulti players right behind him. Scumpy, is he going to get a kill? No! Oh, the cap goes in. He did manage it. But just a fraction too late. So now... Tied game once again. Pressure being applied by Strictly Business Saints on your screen. Trying to make an epic play. This could be huge from him. There's one. Sees him. Can he find the second? Yes, he can. Doesn't get the kill though. Bose goes big on defense. However, there's going to be one player for Optic. Oh, he goes down there. That was Scump. Meanwhile, SBR going to cap. It's 8 7 in favor of Strictly Business Gaming, the US champions. Last one minute, 10 seconds. Saints going to pick up another kill down the right-hand side. No one from Optic able to deal with Saints' slaying power right now. 19 kills to his name. Is he going to try and get the other kill? Three kills. He's pretty much single-handedly taking down Optic in the slaying department by himself. He's really come to life in the last couple of minutes. As Apathy now on your screens. He's going to go down. Optic, they need the cap. Let's have a look at their perspective. Scumpy looks towards the right-hand side. Picks up the kill. He's pretty much... By himself at this point. He has the support of just one teammate in the form of Nateshot. Nateshot in a gunfight mid-map. Scumpy with 40 seconds left. Needs to make a play. Sees one to the right. There's the kill. That was on Apathy. He's pushed all the way towards the enemy spawn. The second player is there. Nateshot has gone down as well. Bo's doing the defensive work. And this is where really Clay, you see what he's trying to do. He's trying to play defensively. But with 25 seconds left, you're down a cap. You need to be aggressive. You need to just make sure you find them. 20 seconds left. That's it. Nateshot. On your screen, Bose went down. Nature needs to make the play here. Sees one in the distance. Only 13 seconds left. You can't afford to just waste time with your health regen. You just need to go straight for it. Nature, time is ticking away. He's pretty much the last man. Five seconds. Oh, Scumpy, no! Oh, I thought Scumpy was going to do it. He just ran straight for it. Didn't get it. And SB are going to win. 8-7. Once again, winning the Blitz. The comeback masters SB. 
absolutely unreal play from them. That's going to extend the series now to 5-0. These guys playing like animals. Up next is going to be some domination. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with you after this quick break. When you switch to Sprint's new family plan, friends are like family. So who's going to be in yours? My girls, my lady, and my fantasy league. Except Jerry. But the more people you add, the lower the rate. Fine, Jerry. Add up to 10 people, and everyone gets unlimited talk, text, and one gig of data for as low as $25 a month each. We can get one more. Add my boyfriend. Whoa. His bill's separate, right? All the bills are separate. Great. And for a limited time, when you switch to Sprint and join a family, you get $100 back.
Hello guys, I'm back. I was just sitting watching. Um, I don't want to lose my voice, so I just fancied a bit of a bit of a break. Just show you guys the game, you know. Just show you guys some, some gameplay. I'm just gonna find out what the uh, what the score was. Clay, what was the difference? Fifteen. Cool. So the difference was uh, fifteen points. Uh, to SB. That was a, a pretty good game. I was speaking to Hex, and to why I wasn't there from the start, but I didn't want you to miss out on the games, so you know, just trying to be a good guy. Trying to be a nice guy. But yeah. Hmm. You guys have to let me know how the game was. I think I'm just going to quickly grab some food as well in the second half, so this game I'm probably not going to cast. But you know, if SB have a 15 point lead, I would put up a graphic, but I don't want to break the stream. Um, you can see the teams there. Game has just got underway. My apologies, I am in fact back. I am going to quickly put this on Spectator, put it on HR, and I am going to quickly just run and do something. I will be too long, hopefully I'll be back, but it's 15 points in favor of SB. Um, good night to anyone that's going. Um, I'm going to quickly shoot, I'll be right back. I'm just going to let the gameplay be talking, I'll be back to cast the next game of Blitz. I'll be back.
What's going on, guys? I am back. <coughs> Excuse me for the, the cough. I had to quickly just go do something, but appreciate the, the patience. That's 86 to 68. SB, take another map. Douglas, aka Sensor, with a very impressive game. 18 to 13. 6 0 overall in the series, then. So I'm going to figure out what the guy's going to do. And I'm going to run a quick break. Enjoy the music. Be right back. I think a lot of us have considered hair extensions. They can make fine hair look fuller or create a different look for a special occasion. And while the right hair extensions can be a great look, the wrong ones definitely are not. So here are a few tips to help you pick out the right extensions for you. First, there are different styles of hair extensions out there, but in my experience, the ones that are easiest to use Like a phoenix. I take care of my own. Torn down where I sat. You can't suffocate my spirit. Anyway, back to Optic Land after a mini little little groove. Some groove time. It's always good to have some groove time. Three plays from SB down actually already, so good start for <coughs> excuse me, Optic Gaming. And also a cap for Optic Gaming. Nade shot. Not wasting any time at all. You can see if you are just tuning in, where have you been? 6 0 to SB. Christ is getting a little bit mad. I think it's fair to say he's getting very loud. Very loud indeed. SB have one player pushing. Apathy. He goes down. <coughs> Excuse me. One more player pushing actually as well. He's dead. The last player pushing. Is he going to die as well? It's Sensor. No. The Dukes. Oh, the Duke. Sensor didn't pick up the kill. Kleist got it. Two player go to. Kleist, let him know about it as well. Bow's on your screen right now. Mr. Money B. And he be Money B right here. Jumps, connects with the kill. Kleist has also picked up one as well. Both players going down. Kleist has died 5 and 1. So he's had a very, very good start to this game. There's, I believe there's two more pitches as well. There's, sorry, two more, two more games to play. This and one game of Domination. I believe Strike Zone Domination is the only one that the guys haven't actually played yet. So, two more games for the Optic LAN. That's all that's left. So, make sure you guys are tweeting out the stream. Getting everybody, getting your grandma, getting your, your mum, getting absolutely everybody up in the stream. 
Because this stream is awesome. Who is this player? Scum. Can he get it? Oh! Denied. No need slide for him. Currently tied. One apiece. Oh, there is actually someone from SB, I believe. Bose needs to be careful here. There's someone right underneath him. SB go 2 1 in the lead. And Bose gets tagged up. Forced to back away. And goes down. Actually has a teammate right in front of him. Nature turns. He's going to go down as well. Place that on your screen. Trying to do the defensive duty here, but SB have turned things around on their heads. Two to one. Everyone keeps asking about song names. Check my tweets. I tweeted out the playlist. Every single song is in there. All you gotta do is just play through them. And we're like currently at like song 34, so yeah, it's pretty pretty long. If I had more time, I probably would have made like a widget which could have the song name actually on the stream, so you guys could see it. But I didn't have the time to do that. So, my bad, as SB go 3-1 in the lead. Apathy continuing off with his objective wizardry. Saints with his slaying wizardry, 8 and 6. Can Optic, <coughs> excuse me, somehow reply the question? Nature, on your screen. Trying to make some plays down the left-hand side. Is he going to be able to do it? There's one play for SB, but Optic, we're trying to pinch now. This could be the play. Oh, Nature gave away his position. He was trying to pre-fire, but no one was home. Nice play though from him. Picks up one. Now with sensor. Glacier picks up apathy as well. This could be a cap if he's quick. Needs to be quick though. Knee slide connects. Three to two. Cost him his life. But most definitely worth as Sensor just killed Clay. That was interesting. I'm not sure quite how, but it happens. Scump, meanwhile, he's going around the outside. Around the outside. Oh, he actually got spotted as well. Meanwhile, SB have got the cap. Nate Shot's going to slide that in, so that's a trade. Three for four. Saints. Well, he's going to try and get some slaying. A big kill there from Clayster, actually, on Sensor. Sensor was highlighted on your minimap. He was overextending down that left-hand side. Saints goes down. Sensor on your screen. Trying to rotate back, but whilst this is going on, Scump's gone down. Pose. Surrounded by hostiles. Hello. There's one. That was Apathy. <laughs> Can he find anybody else? We're in the last... Minute now, this is where things tend to heat up. Bose with the shot in the distance isn't going to get it. Now he needs to get for the small trap kills. Can he pick that up? That would have been huge, but it doesn't go in. 4 4. If Bose had picked that up, that definitely would have been Optic going into the half in the lead. Clayster on your screen. Now, this is where defensive duty needs to be done. Optic have one player being aggressive. Three players go down. This is big for Optic Gaming. Nature is he going to be able to knee slide it in? No, gets denied in the last 22 seconds. Clayster being aggressive. He's going to push up. Bose. He is not with him. It's Scumpy who is with Nature in support here. This is going to have to be the duo going big. But watch out. Look at the top left of your screen. SB also going for it. Scumpy's going to start his charge towards it. He's going to get it. 5-4. Now, can they somehow defend? No, they can't. The trade comes in. 5-5. Five to five. And there isn't going to be enough time for any of the caps. So we're going to end the first side with a draw. 5 all. It's like every single blitz between these two teams ends in a draw. Or the first half at least seems to end in a draw, or very close. Or an epic comeback, you know. One of the, the many epic things that has happened. But yes. 5-5. Five, five. Hey, someone tweeted the play, so I'll retweet it, make life easier. Hey! Retweets for the win. So. Saints. Let's have a look. Apathy is trying to be sneaky. Saints gonna try support. What a kill from Saints! That was on Scum. That was fantastic accuracy. That just allowed Apathy to freely roam across, and that's why that was such an important kill. It wasn't just a show of fantastic accuracy, but Apathy has been allowed now because of that to to just to just chill, go all the way. There's a cap six five, and that all came from Saints. One kill. Unbelievable plays from Strictly Business. Can they try and continue it? Saints on your screen. Is he going to be able to defend? There's optic aggression coming in. Six to five. Well, that's definitely needed from this optic gaming lineup if they're going to have any chance of coming back into this. Scump. Quite pushed far forward. Has Bose in support. Scump picks up one. Is he going to be able to get the cap though? Bose now. Nate shots also coming into support. Clayster still playing passively at this point. Bose has got himself into a fantastic position. Scumpy has gone down. So nature has gone down as well, so he's down to Bose now in this situation, all by himself, and Dido single-handedly cleans out Optic from the SB base. Got to give him some serious, serious props for that. 
some sensational plays coming in from him. One of the best plays in North America without a shadow of a doubt. Can he try and pick up any more kills? Of course he can. It's Dido. Two kills to his name. I think he's just going to try and cover. So let's have a look at Apathy. Someone in a bit more of an aggressive position. Oh, two plays. One Nato. Nato gets the drop on Apathy. I don't think he expected that. Still, 6-5 to five in favor of Strictly Business. Saints. The man on your screen. 16 and 14. He's been fragging so high all day. Really has picked up some serious digits. And he's good at doing the OBJ. Wizardry. No! Crazy through the smoke. Oh, dearie me. Denied Saints. He was millimeters away from getting another capture. But this is the play right here. This is where it's going to come down to. Can Nature do it? The sneaky beaver. Every single time. I seem to catch him do it every single time. Unbelievable sneaky plays. But look at SB. All up in Optic's base. 7-6. to six. They have two players waiting to relay. This is going to be the kill which needs to come in. It's going to have to be from Clayster. He's rotated back. There's a play to his left-hand side. He isn't able to get it. Now Optic needs to flood it. SB's base. It's going to be 8-7 to seven as the trade goes in. But still, Saints is in a position to really cause some upsets here. Looks to his left, picks up one. His teammate is in support. Optic have no one in the enemy base, so this could be Relay City if they aren't careful. Apathy, can he get close? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it picks up the kill on Bows, though. Two minutes remaining, still a one-point game. Very, very close indeed. I think five caps. Honestly, God, this guy is an objective wizard. I'm not sure how he does it, but the other side of the map. Oh, Scott B slides in. Manages to slide past 8-8. Eight, eight, ties it up. Oh, fantastic knee slide from him. Just getting away. Apathy tries to jump out. Scott expected it. Picks up the kill. Oh, but here's Saints in a good position to try and get a cap. Nope, he's going to go down. That's going to leave one optic player. It's Bose. Money B. Going straight down the middle of the map. No one's going to be there. Bose is going to get it. But the defensive play. Sensor's in a great position to try and get the cap. Comes behind one. That was Clay. Going to knee slide. Levels things up. 9-9. Nine, nine. One minute. 15 seconds left. And someone is on the relay. It's Apathy. No real surprise to see him here. Two seconds left. And Scumpy gets the kill. Huge play from Scumpy. He's going to save Optic just for a couple of seconds. They've cleaned out their base as well. Now the push coming in from Strictly Business. But the push as well coming in from Optic Gaming. Bose. On your screen, can he make a game-winning play right here? There's one. Clay is going to pick up the second. Bose trying to stay alive. Can't do it, though. Still one more player from Optic Gaming in an aggressive position. It's Nateshot. The last 40 seconds remaining on this game of Blitz. It's tied at nine apiece. SB pinned at the back of the base. Nateshot, can he make one of those sneaky plays? No, he's going to go down. SB starting to flood the base. Oh, dearie me. Bose has gone down as well. Clayster. He's going to try and do it by himself. The left side flank is wide open. But look at SB. Apathy. He's going to be able to knee slide that in. Now Clayster needs to go big. Hasn't got a choice. Two players there. He picks up one. Can he find the second? 18 seconds remaining. He gets charged. The kill goes in. Bows and Nadeshot are there. This could be the play. Only 10 seconds left. Nadeshot looks at the corner. Kills the other. The second's there. He goes down. Clayster's not in position. Scumpy. Can he get it? Can he get it? He gets the kill. Gets the cap as well. Three seconds remaining. It's going to be a tie. The Ginger Ninja at the last second. Going huge. Unbelievable plays from Scumpy. Finishing that map 21 and 17. Managed to flank all the way around the outside. Complete distraction. Nadeshot pushing through the middle. No one expected Scumpy to be there. Good defensive plays coming from Clay. But overall a fantastic game. Apathy 6 caps. Nadeshot 5. Pretty sure... It's going to be a full replay of the map, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to throw it to a quick motion break. Be right back.
Whether you're decorating your dorm room or furnishing your dream home, the furniture you pick is more than just functional. It's
much as I'm talking to camera I've been doing this so long I don't remember why I need a movement I need a shakedown I need a free fall going on guys welcome back it is the last game <coughs> of optic land ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> <sighs> okay hope you guys enjoyed the dance moves <coughs> just replying to something hex there really appreciate it anyway last game it's been some crazy series 
It's been ridiculous. It really has. Um, I'm not even sure if I updated the score. But it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. Anyway, Domination Strike Zone. It's a map and game type. Everybody loves high tempo action all the time. Optic Gaming versus Strictly Business. And it's the last LAN game these guys are going to have before they fly off to sunny, sunny Los Angeles, California tomorrow for the Call of Duty World Championship. That's going to be on Friday through Sunday. And it is going to be absolutely epic. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm really excited for it. You're going to have all your favorite casters there. Everyone is going to be having some good fun. All your favorite players, your favorite teams, top teams from across the world competing for a share of $1 million. And this is going to be both, as I said, last practice before that. Right now, I'm taking them testing out some, some new strats. See if they can get anything to click or work potentially different than what they do. You can't use the same strat against everyone. Oh, Nate Shot, you just did the nasty. That was filthy. He managed to cap that flag by himself and pick up three kills there. Big plays coming from him. The streak continues. It's at six. Nate Shot picking up center. Now he's going to try and push in towards the B flag. Has clay in support. There's the seventh. Can he find the eighth? Oh, the assist comes in. Thought for a minute there he was going to get that by himself. Sees the B flag actually running out of ammo. Scump needs to pick up this kill. Play to his right side. Nature, can he keep the streak alive? The streak is still alive. No idea how. Going to hop on that B flag. Three plays for SP. Go down and just as he turns around, Nature goes down. <laughs> However, Scump, he's still on that B flag. Two and a half minutes remaining of the first side. Domination strike zone. 40 to 29 in favor of SB. Optic do have two to one flag control though. So that deficit is going to be getting eaten away. However, watch out for this man. It's Saints. He's had a sensational few days here at the Optic LAN. Putting up some serious digits every single game he has played. My personal play, <laughs> uh, MVP from the US Regionals. And just general favorite player to really watch. He's fantastic. However, Optic, they have replied in tune. And they have sent Nadeshot <coughs> excuse me, to capture that A flag, which he has done. So nice stuff coming from him. He goes down. Placed it. He's going to still be at that B flag. Is he going to pick up the kill? No. Dido comes out clutch that time. He's 11 and 7. The only player in the game currently to have double digit kills. So let's have a look. See what he's doing right. Apparently everything as he kills Scumpy. The last couple of minutes. Optic still trying to reduce that deficit. However, SB do have 2 to 1 flag control. Alpha and Charlie in their possession. They're trying to spawn trap Optic in that B flag. And oh, Apathy nearly managed to pick up the second. Did get taken down. Dido straight off spawn. Looks towards the right hand side. The flying Ginger Ninja. Took him out mid-air. Nice play from Scump. Saints is going to shut down Clayster though. So that's going to change things up. Nature's going to be capping that A flag. Now can Optic rotate straight towards that B flag. They're nine points down. Minute and a half left. Someone on the C flag. That's going to be Scump. Scump needs to cap this flag. Sees one that in apathy. Shuts him down. There's going to be a second. And Scumpy just destroyed. Sensor but wasn't able to capture the flag. Luckily though, there is a wild Embos in support he's going to jump on that flag capture that so still two to one in fact no that a flag is neutral someone from optic is going to need to go big here who is it going to be clayster can he win this gunfight this is going to be key if he wins this optic can reduce that deficit it's still at 10 clay goes down bows is trying to get on that b flag he gets shut down scump making his way towards a there's going to be just one player there for sb can he get the kill yes he can he knows there's another one he managed to weaken somewhat scump Jumps down. Where has he gone? There he is. Now Apathy comes out on top of that one. And speaking of Apathy, let's have a look at him. 12 and 12. Two kills to his name. He has another fight. Picks up the assist. SB going for the trip cap in the last 30 seconds. This is something SB do pretty much every single domination. Last minute or so, they push for the trip cap and they secure it. They just bleed out the opposition and build themselves an extended lead. A lead which really they shouldn't have going into the second side. But fantastic, fantastic stuff. Right at the very end, Scump 17 and 14. He has had a fantastic first side. 10 seconds left, 63 to 87. It's going to be the score at the half. It's going to change to 63 to 89. Let me write that down. 63 to 89. So that's going to be the end of the first side. Let's have a look at our teams. Right there on your screen, having a, a bit of banter, friendly banter across. Have a look. Any any banter going on between the two? Doesn't doesn't really look like it as of now. That's going to be a. Let me do the maths. Make sure I don't get this wrong. So twenty. I failed twenty six. Twenty six point lead, I believe, in favor of SB. 
I need to type that in favor of strictly business. So they're going in pretty pretty big lead to be fair, going into that second side. Are they gonna be able to hold on though or are Optic gonna be able to come back? But as I said, strictly business so good in the last you know, last couple of seconds. That's the big question. Can Optic come back on the last game of the evening here at the Optic LAN? Any good tweets from you guys? Let me have a look. Any questions? Last time you can have a chance to ask any questions. Um, everyone that's asking for Big T, he's still actually out with Flamesword. I have no idea where they actually went. I think they're still at the gym. They're trying to get that last grind in. Um, let's see, the game is going to be getting underway. So we'll dive straight back into it. It's going to be domination on strike zone. Um, I'm <coughs> excuse me. Any other questions? Who is MVP from this weekend? Uh, that's from Optics underscore Fanboy. I would say it is either going to go to Scumpy, Apathy, or Saint. One of those three. How about this? You guys can reply. So, if you guys want to pick an MVP from the weekend, what I want you to do is I want you to tweet Optic Land MV No, sorry, hashtag Optic Land MVP. All one, Optic Land MVP, and tweet the name of the player you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the hashtag at the very end, and we'll try and find out roughly who has the most votes. So, guys, hashtag Optic Land MVP for who you think deserves the MVP from this whole weekend. It can be anyone it can be from SB or from Optic. But, guys, let me know. Start tweeting that out as soon as you can. And hopefully, by the end, we'll have a big old list and I can go through and we can decide together as who you think is the MVP. And someone asked, did I play uh, FIFA with Flamesword yesterday? Yeah, kicks his ass. Unbeaten here at the Optic House. Woo! Go me! Anyway, back to the game. 5-1 for Clayster with a cap as well. So he signed things off very nicely. It was a 26-point deficit, if you guys remember. Scump, he's 3-0. Can he try and get back down to the seat flag, which they are losing. He looks up top. He's going to get taken out. Clayster, 5-2 still. Bows. Hitting a nice two-piece there in the kill feed. So let's have a look at his perspective. Oh, two people running straight towards him. Scump, though. Can we try and clean up down at the A flag? Nope. Not going to happen. Bows. He's looking over towards the far side. He hasn't had any luck. He needs to actually just reload that gun. Only three bullets. Doesn't want to have a gunfight with that. Alpha is being taken by his teammate, Clay. Still hasn't reloaded. That's a very risky strategy. He's only relied on three bullets and... Well, you're never going to really win a gunfight with just three bullets. But Optic now starting to build themselves a lead. Can they try and come back the last game of the night? It was a 26-point deficit. Bose on your screen. Sees Dito. Dito is going to come out clutch with a two-piece. Clayster goes down. And that's all four dead. Dito's just waiting to see if they spawn in at B. He knows that sometimes you can get that lucky spawn. So he's being very, very careful of that. Dito. I just kept that B flag. Nicely done. Six and two. Two caps. As I said, guys, Optic Land MVP. No spaces. Start tweeting that out on Twitter and put, obviously, a space. And then who you think is going to be the Optic Land MVP. Placed at nine and three to kick things off. He's having a good side. 31 to 34, though. It's still just a three-point lead on the second side with two and a half minutes remaining for Optic Gaming. They need to reduce a 26-point lead. So I'm really expecting Optic to push for that trip cap. Nature having a bit of a slow start. Watch out for him to pick things up on the later parts of this round. But there's still a 2-1 to one flag hold. This time actually in favor of SB. So Optic with a lot of work to do. Dido really just slaying so heavily this round. Having a great game so far. Saints as well. Don't forget about him when you're thinking about Optic Land MVPs. He has had a sensational, sensational performance. He really, really has. All throughout the Optic Land. Apathy picks up one though. Nicely done. That was Clay. Saints. Going to be able to pick up anybody has the support of Apathy. Apathy is going to challenge that. Saints turns around. Please don't do that. That's just naughty. I have to put you in the naughty corner if you hit shots like that. Clayster, he's going to be on the A 
flag. It's going to be very, very close. A minute 45 left. 47 to 51. Optic with a 2 to 1 flag control. Now, this is where Clayster needs to go in man mode. He's 12 and 6. He's having a great game, but it needs to go up to the next level. If they're going to have any chance of winning this, the trip cap needs to come in. Optic cannot waste any time about it. Clayster looking to try and defend the A flag. There's going to be an SP play right there. It was apathy. He got the kill now. Nate shot. All by himself, he spawned over at B, and Espy looked to try and put this game out of reach. It's been a fantastic series all throughout today. Yesterday's games especially, extremely, extremely close. As Dido looking at trying to close things out, as I said, he's not going to be able to do so. Neither is Apsi. Sensor is he in a position to try and pick up a couple of kills. The last 60 seconds, Optic do have the lead. Three-point lead. They need to get another 23 points, though. And someone from Optic is going to try and go for the trip cap. It's Scump. If he gets this, this could be huge. There's one player. The Ginger Ninja finds a second as well. Just destroyed someone. There is still one Optic player trying to help out the situation. He goes down. And sadly, SBR going to be right back on it. That's eight points. Nine points that Scumpy was able to reduce the deficit from. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think SB have secured another map. These guys just showing exactly why they are the US champions. Dino just got wiped out of B though, to be fair. <laughs> Clay not wasting any time about that, neither was Bose. So good effort coming towards the end of the game. But that is going to be all she wrote. It's a 12-point differential. They need to get another 14 points. It is not going to happen, but a fantastic effort nevertheless. Place that on your screen, 15 and 10. Bows 20 and 10, though, really had a solid second side. But, guys, that is going to be all. You can see the teams there. I'm going to quickly bring up Twitter and see if I can find who everyone is voting for MVP. Let me search for it real fast. Hashtag Optic LAN MVP. We have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Apathy, Clayster, Scump or Saints, Clay. Embos, me, oh, thanks. Nature, Clay, uh, Scum, Saints, MVP is, oh, thank you. Scum, easily Saints. Scumpy, Scumpy, <laughs> everyone voting me. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Scum, 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 Scum. A lot of people voting for Scumpy on the MVP list, so. Judging by that, I think we're going to go ahead and give the MVP from op the first ever Optic LAN to Scumpy. You guys voted for it. So many tweets coming in for Optic Scumper. Congratulations. I'm going to tweet it myself. Congratulations to at Optic underscore Scump for the hashtag Optic LAN. MVP voted by you guys. So that's going to do everything from me. I'm pretty sure maybe Nate Shot may come over. I'm going to just go to a quick commercial break. <coughs> Try and get Nate Shot over or one of the Optic guys to come and let you know if there's going to be any other surprises, maybe some more gameplay. But for now, I'm going to throw some music. Enjoy the break. is focus. It's an extra measure of clarity and alertness. It's knowing you got what it takes and seeing five moves ahead. It's finding your groove, picking your spot, and kneeling. Focus is keeping your head when those around you are losing theirs. Focus is making your own breaks and finishing out front. Focus is momentum. Focus is control. And five-hour energy.
All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. That is going to do it uh, for the Optic House LAN. I, I appreciate every single one of you coming out and tuning into the stream. Uh, go give all the teammates a follow. Give Benson a follow for some amazing casting. Uh, the amount of support you guys have shown the stream has been absolutely phenomenal, and uh, we we are so appreciative of every single one of you. Definitely giving us the motivation to do more of these, and I, I think uh, you guys will like and enjoy the things that are to come in the future. So. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. Uh, wish us luck at the Call of Duty Championships this weekend. And thank you guys so much for watching. And MLG TV.